check, check.
race fans. Welcome to Antioch Speedway. We're getting set to give the official opening here in about five minutes. Just uh, doing a sound check. Hope everybody is doing well and staying out of the some of the safe fires and whatnot. Joe, welcome. Thank you. It's a humid day here in Antioch, California. Well, yes, very humid today. Very smoky, I should say. Smoky and humid. Thanks for tuning in to Antioch Speedway TV. We'll be doing an intro here in just a few minutes.
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for tuning in to Antioch Speedway TV. We are live and direct from Antioch, California. My name's Wiley Ways. I'm Joe Peterson. Joe, it's a smoky but yet nice day out for racing. Oh, yeah, for truly. Always looking forward to racing. Um, we got uh, four classes out here with our uh, spec sprints, our uh, Delta Dwarf cars, our uh, stock cars, and our mini stocks. That's right, our super stocks. Our super stocks, yes. Are what the, are here, but uh, yes, I'm in my driver's uniform. I will be, be driving my number 714 four-banger here tonight. Have a little bit of fun, get to go out and have some fun. I appreciate Chad and Tina allowing me to do that. It's going to be a good time. Andrea's making her way to the booth, the all-important scorer. Just want to say thanks for tuning in. We have a great night of racing action in, for, in store for you here tonight, and Joe, I don't know. The track is looking absolutely gorgeous out there right now. Yeah, it um, has moisture in it right now. Um, the car's rolling in and packing it in pretty good. But um, I'm looking forward to some good racing. Last week, like I said, with the Hobby Stock Sport Mod main event, um, flat out insane. And um, I don't see why this week can't be any better. And if anybody was watching last week, we did flag um, a gentleman for the win, but actually... Um, Tomasi Scoggins getting, got the win as after the, the 72 was disqualified. Yeah, um, after the whole commotion um, in the pits, uh, the 21D, Tomasi Scoggins, ended up taking the victory. Um, fortunately, we didn't get, the, uh, get a driver's interview with them, but um, hopefully we see him back here next week, and hopefully the, uh, they put on um, one heck of a show again. Like I said, uh, nomination, I believe, race of the year. That was an awesome race between him and James Thompson, and you're going to see James tonight. Um, in fact, right there, James is coming in thir turns three and four. He is in the Gonderman mobile. Dan Gonderman, Abby Gonderman, normally the drivers of that. Well, James Thompson is stepping out of the hobby sock, and he's getting a dream to uh, drive a wings wingless sprint car. So he was about ready to toss his cookies a little while ago. He's so nervous in that thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's um, interesting to see um, different drivers hop out of uh, their, un their normal cars and um, hop into something different. Um, especially going from a, from a hobby stock to a sprint car is, is extremely different. And, uh, hey, who knows? You never know what he can do. James is known for he's not afraid to rub fenders if need be, but uh, he's not going to want to do that in an open-wheel sprint car, that's for sure. Uh, me, talking of uh, Mr. Scoggins, we will, I will get with him next week on my pit walk and and do a quick interview with him. So we'll get him on there. And I'm just looking forward to a great night of racing here tonight. Oh, yeah, for sure. I am keeping my eyes on the kid. He's on the racetrack right now, Dylan Bloomfield. After the victory two weeks ago, um, or actually, I'm sorry, actually four weeks ago, then two weeks ago, he ended up, uh, I believe, blew a motor. He blew a motor, yep. Blew a motor. I believe this week he's back for redemption. I'm calling it already. My pick to win the race. Ooh, going out there already. You know what? Uh, that's going to be fun to watch. Right there he is on your screen. Young 14-year-old, Dylan Bloomfield. You know, he's going to have a tough time uh, beating that other 33 car with DJ Johnson. So right there, if you're going to take Bloomfield, I guess I'm going to have to take DJ. Um, I reserve to change it before the main event in case we see something different tonight. <laughs> All right. Bob Newberry is another driver. He's going down the front straightaway right now in the 36 car. You always got to watch out for him as well. So there are definitely some cars here that can beat those two 33s, but the last couple months, those 33s have been the class of the field. Yeah, for sure. Uh, they just got something working in those cars. And um, like you say, it's just hard to beat them. This, uh, they're always up front. And uh, like I said, also with, uh, with DJ Johnson, um, we saw him start from dead last, literally dead last. And, and, worked his way up to the front and um, ended up ended up in my opinion you know grabbing a, a win uh, maybe it would have been a little bit different if cer certain circumstances had happened but um, a win's a win can't take it away from him yeah so that's the open wheels in the uh, super stocks fast Freddie Ryland stepping into the 99 tonight uh, running for Jim Freethy so last time he ran he, w he took home the win in the super stocks in that 99 car yeah I'm looking forward to that um Usually we're used to seeing Fred out in the sport mod. Um, last week he was coming up from the field. Just had I talked to him. Just had a little bobble. Um, mistake happened. But yeah, he's back in uh, Jim Freely's car in the in the number 99. And 
Let's see what he can do. Let's see if he can get himself another win. Uh, most of the time, he's pretty dominant when he gets into the uh, into the super stock. So I don't see why it would be any different. The Delta Dorf car is going to be a good race again. We got the Wagner Racing Team back. Um, they missed a couple weeks or about four weeks ago because they were back in Wyoming racing in a national event. Um, they missed the last one because they hadn't gone through their cars yet. They had some. Uh, from what I understand, there were a lot of blown motors and problems with cars back in Wyoming. That was such a big track. Um, they didn't blow any motors, but there were still issues they had to fix. So they are back tonight getting set for a, another national event coming up. So, But that's going to make it good, those four cars coming back out here tonight. Yeah, for surely. And then, like I said, what, two weeks ago with, uh, I believe, Dennis, Dennis Gilstring um, grabbing the... <laughs> Gilkring's. Uh, De with uh, Dennis grabbing uh, the win and... With the Ragnar Racing Team back, uh, it's going to be interesting. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing how that mixes up. And then for our four bangers tonight, we got 13 cars here tonight. We have a number of cars come up from the Central Valley. They are part of a club, the Central Valley Mini Stocks. Appreciate them coming up here, folks. We're trying to get you to see how much fun these race cars can be if you're looking at getting into racing. Um, the four banger is a great place to start. They're cheap. For, for racing wise, they're very inexpensive. Um, there are some for sale out there. I've got a couple people that'll build them. If you need to, any help with that, give me a yell. I have found out Fast Friday Ryland um, said he will build some if we're looking for someone to build one. Um, but let's get out there and get some more four bangers. I've heard of people looking for them. I've heard of some people that are getting ready to build some. This class is gonna take off. We're gonna be much bigger and better next year. Yeah, for sure. Uh, when I walked into the pits and I seen uh, 13 entries, man, I was, I was pretty excited. Um, I know it's a lot, like you said, it's a lot of guys um, who normally do the Central Valley. I believe it's the Central Valley Mini Socks Tour. Um, they're out here. Uh, they have no racing really going on in the Central Valley, um, down where, where they're used to touring at. So, hey, might as well come play up north, and um, we're giving them a purse to, you know, race for. So it, it should be interesting. Working on getting, setting up some uh, points races for them here at Antioch Speedway next year, hopefully. So, something to watch out for. So, that's the way things look tonight. We've got four classes. There's going to be a lot of great racing action. You, thanks for tuning in to Antioch Speedway TV. We'll be back in just a little bit. Hot laps are about to begin here in just a few minutes.
Hello, race fans. Uh, my name is Joe Peterson. Uh, we are back, and it looks like we have the mini stocks getting set to take their first hot lap session. On the track is the uh, 722 out of Modesto, California. That is Trevor Jolly. Behind him is the 68 that is out of Modesto, California. That is Chris Quarter. And in the seven in the seven seven or the seventy seven X, that is gonna be Sean DePriest out of Dinuba, California. Behind him in the 33L machine, that is going to be Leo Lotz out of Los Banos, California, sponsored Highway 99 Design Merced. Behind him, two weeks ago, your winner, the 23 of Aiden Ponciano. And right next to him, that is going to be the 27D of Ryan Dolini out of Clovis, California. As the cars take their white flag on this hot lap session group. As you can tell, the track is still slimy as they're sliding around. We have entry to 13 of the mini stocks here this evening. We'll have two eight lap heat races for that class right there. Checker flags out for this hot lap session for this group. As my colleague Wiley Wade is also racing in a mini stock and the 714 as you guys can see him in the infield right now normally he's up here in the booth with me alongside the booth with me if you're interested in racing and looking into getting a mini stock we have a few guys out here, I believe. I know Trevor Kleiman said that he is um, building a few. It's not that expensive of a class to hop into and get some driving experience. And I believe this is our second group for the mini socks. Coming onto the track, that is the 75 of Jeff Durant out of Clovis, California, Barry Patton Racing, Junk King, and the Boss Sydney. Sponsorships on that machine. On that machine, and behind him is a 714. My colleague, that is Wiley Wade, out of Martinez, California, and the sponsored uh, Tommy Clemens Jr., Trevor Clemens, Chris Bennett, Wiley Corporation Motorsports, and Les Schwab, out of Martinez. Has the green flags for this uh, hot lap session goes green. And behind him is the number nine. That is Gene Glover out of Visalia, California. Sponsorship has uh, him and his wife. And be behind that machine is the 5Z. I'm sorry, the 5S. That is Alan Neal out of Los Banos. Sponsorship Pre Precision Ag. Also on track is the 777 of Clint Massey out of Porterville, California, sponsored JDM of California, fuel injection client, S15Ts, and Lloyd's transmissions. And behind him is the 77. That is Matt Herrero. And the Little Caesar uh, Little Caesars machine. as checker flag waves for this hot lap session. 
Also on track was the 18X of Dan Maverick out of Kalinga. And I believe that is going to conclude the hot laps for the mini stocks. as we get set for the hot laps for the dwarf cars. On track is the 21 double D. Here is a group session number two for the del the dwarf cars. On track is a <clears throat> on track is a four in of Ryan Winters, and behind him is the eighty of Joe of Joe Tardif out of Clyde, California. And behind him, that is going to be the 63 
uh, Buddy Olas Olaska at uh, Tracy, California. As a checker flag wave for uh, for this group session. Here comes uh, your final group uh, hot laps for the dwarf cars. In the 12, that's going to be Mike Grennert. And behind him is a 43. Uh, Sean Catucci. As the white flag comes out for this hot life session. And in the 777 in, that is going to be John Williams. Out of Auburn, California. As the checker flag is going to come out for this hot lap session. We have 21 entries for the dwarf cars tonight. We'll have uh, three heats, eight laps. And as we're going to get set to have the super stocks or pro stocks come out for their hot lap session. In the number 99, normally driven by Jim Freely, that is Fred Ryland out of Brentwood, California. Behind him is the 77 out of Antioch. That's going to be Chris Long. Out of Alamo, in the 48, that is going to be John Evans. And then your final car rounding out your hot lap session is going to be the 92 out of Sacramento, California. That is going to be Jay Bryant. As the green flag has dropped for this hot lap session. As you can tell, this track is still pretty wet and pretty slimy. As the checker flag comes out for this hot lap session. We have four cars entered for the Pro Stocks. They'll have a six lap heat race.
on the track is a uh, buddy Niss in the 19K just getting some hot laps in his brand new IMC8 modified. That was Buddy Niss's hot laps, our last year's 2019 track champion, turning some hot laps in his brand new uh, A mod. Next, coming up, we should have our spec sprints hot lap session. Fourteen spec sprints entered into tonight's feature. We'll have uh, two uh, two heat races, eight laps for the spec sprints. Coming onto the track right now, that is going to be the thirty-six of. Bob Newberry out of Brentwood, California. Also on track, that is going to be the 87 of James Thompson. James Thompson is normally driving. Last week, you seen him in a hobby stop. This time, he'll try his hand in a spec sprint. And the 33 out of Discovery Bay, the kid Dylan Bloomfield coming with two laps to go, ended up uh, exposing a motor, Ex ended up costing him the win. Also coming on track is the uh, 1C out of Morgan Hill, California. That is Jimmy Christensen. On track also is the uh, 50 out of Santa Rosa, California. That is Tony Bernard. Also on track is the 92A out of Brentwood, California. That is Jeff Scotto.
Also in the 3F out of Gulp, California, that is Matt Streeter. As the green flag drops for this hot lap session. has dropped for this hot lap session. as we should have our second hot lap session rolling out for the spec wingless sprints. Rolling onto the track right now is, uh, last time the spec wing sprint, or I'm sorry, wingless sprints were out here. The 33 DJ out of Stockton, California. That is gonna be DJ Johnson. Also rolling onto the track is going to be the 21 out of Antioch, California, of Roy Fisher. On track is the 77 out of Concord, California. That is Ryan Silver Silverling. Also on track is at 24 out of San Jose, California. That is Sean Jones. Popping onto the track also was at 11B out of Fairfield, California. That is Alan Miranda. as they're gonna get the green flag for this hot lap session.
checker flag is out for this hot lap session for your speedless spec sprints. As I said before, we have 14 entries for the spec sprints in tonight's program. They'll have two eight lap heat races. That's going to conclude our hot laps for tonight's, for the classes. We're getting set for our Valley Four Bangers heat race number one, getting ready to take the track. On your track for heat race number one, the 68. Out of Modesto, California, that is going to be Chris Quarter. To his outside, the number nine. Out of Visalia, California, that is going to be Gene Glover. And your second row. To the inside, the 5S, that is going to be Alan Neal. Out of Antioch, California, and to his outside is going to be the 714, my colleague, out of Martinez, California, Wiley Wade. In your third row, inside the inside, the 722, that's going to be Jeff Jolly out of Modesto, California. And to his outside is going to be the 75 of Jeff Durant out of Clovis, California. In your fourth row, the 777 of Clint Massey out of Porterville, California. As the lights are out and they're get set to take the green flag. Green flag drops. Jumping out to the early lead is going to be quarter in the 68. As they all slide up the track. All trying to grab grip on this track as the as you can tell the track is still pretty slimy leading lap one is going to be quarter looks like alan neal wants to get racy with the number nine of glover it looks like chris quarter starting to put a sizable gap on the number nine machine. The battle on track right now is between the 777 and the 722 of Jolly and Massey. Trevor Jolly and Clinton Massey. As they're all single fouled out, kind of running the same line right now. Diving in the inside and sliding up high in turns one and two. As the 68 machine of Chris of Chris Quarter is now putting a straightaway lead on our second place machine of Gene Glover with Alan Neal. In the third position, the 75 of Jeff Durant and the 777 of Clint Massey is your top five. Oh, and it looks like down the back straightaway, the 714 of Wiley Wade is slowing down. White flag next time by for the 68 machine. Seven seventy five and the sixty eight white flags out for Chris Quarter.
as he rounds turn three, coming out of four. Checker flag is going to be out for Chris Quarter, your winner for Heat One. Second place is going to go to the nine, a Gene Glover with Alan Neal, your third place position. The 75 of Jeff Durant and the 777 of Clint Massey, your unofficial top five. All right. And coming up to track now is going to be heat race number two for your four banger class on track. Front row inside is that 77X. That is going to be Sean DePriest. And to his outside is going to be the 33L of Leo Lotz out of Los Banos, California. And your second row is going to be the 18X of Dan Myrick out of Colinga, California. And to his outside is going to be the 23 of Jess Palladino out of Brentwood, California. And the third row. Inside is going to be the 77 of Matthew Herod out of Strathmore, California. And to his outside is going to be Ryan. And to his outside is going to be Ryan Dog Dogling out of Cole Clovis, California. And the 227D. As they get set to take the green flag. Green flag's out. And it looks like it's going to be DePriest jumping out to the early lead. DePriest is going to lead lap one with Ryan Dolin with Ryan Dolini on his back bumper as they come down the back straightaway and they're gonna be side by side. Looks like Dolini's gonna take the lead away from DePriest. And he's gonna lead lap number two. With the 18X of Dan Maverick in third, as he wants to get racy with DePriest as he slides up the racetrack. It looks like Dolini's still holding on to that lead as they both slide up the racetrack, him and DePriest. Four in, four to go. And now it looks like the 77 of Matt Herod looking into the inside of the 18X of Dan Maverick. Or I'm sorry, Dan Myrick. Oh, and it's still a stiff battle up front between the priest and Dolini. That's going to be white flag next time by Ken. Dolini hold off the 77 of DePriest. priest. 
Also the 18X of Myrick and the 77. As White flags out for Dolini. Can he hold off the 77 of DePriest or the 77X of DePriest one more time? As they come out of two, they go down the back straight away. Is lap traffic going to get in the way? DePriest looks to the outside. Oh, and he's got a dime in the corner. Oh, he gets into the lap car. Checker flag is going to wave for Dolini in the 27D. Second place is going to go to the 77X of Sean DePriest. The 18X of Dan Mavericks in third. The 77 of Matt Herod and the 23 of Aiden Ponch, or I'm sorry, uh, Jess Paladino is going to be your unofficial top five for your four bangers. That's going to complete your four bangers heat races. All, all the cars have tra all the cars are going to transfer into the A for the four banger class. Next up, we'll be having our or next. It looks like a buddy Ness is going to come out for another hot lap session in his A mod. But after that, we'll be having our three heat races for our Delta Dwarf cars coming up just shortly. Joe, that was fun. Oh, yeah, it looked like you're having a blast out there. A little lugging, a little more problems, but getting the, going to get the plugs changed back in the pits, but whew, that was fun. That was a good time. <laughs> oh, yeah, you look pretty winded right now. That's, uh, that's a good time. Look forward to the main event. Again, folks, if you're looking to get into racing or you're interested or if you want information, information let us know. We are trying to get some more people in these four bangers. They are a lot of fun. Buddy Ness out there in the 19K. Shaking down his brand new modifier. Taking a few more hot laps. Uh-oh. That uh, ended a little sooner than planned, I do believe. Not sure what happened to Buddy Ness in 19K there, but coming to stop. Thanks again, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in to Antioch Speedway TV here, live and direct from Antioch, California. Three-eighths mile, semi-high banked oval here in beautiful Northern California. Of course, a little smoky right now. Coming up, we're getting set for Delta Dwarf Cars. action. And sorry, giving you a lineup on the point for heat race number one. It is a 68 double D. That is Dynamite Dave Rosa out of Antioch, California. Outside the front row, the 88 double D of Travis Day out of Concord, California. And in your second row, uh, out of California, California, <laughs> it says on my spreadsheet right here. Well, that is a 36 double D of Dennis Gilcrease. And to his outside is the 80 double D out of Clyde, California. That is Joe Tardiff. Row number three inside the 17 double D of Jeff Bendicourt. And outside of him, the 12 N. The winner last time out two weeks ago, Spanky Mike Grenert. And in your final row, that is the 32 R 
out of Santa Rosa, California. That is Garrett Brady. We are getting set for another exciting, fun-filled evening of racing here at Antioch Speedway. Thanks for tuning in to Antioch Speedway TV. You'll find all the races uh, on here except for coming up the big show. Bill Bowers Memorial Race will be over on Flow Racing. Uh, Flow Racing's coming in to handle the duties for that particular race, but the rest of the races for the 2020 season and beyond will be right here on Antioch Speedway TV with yourself, or with, with myself, Wiley Wade, and my partner over here, Joe um, Peterson. And Joe, I'm, a, I'm just excited. It's, it's fun. That track is nice right now. It is so nice right now. Yeah, uh, like you said, still still moisture, but uh, with the with the heat in the air, hopefully uh, it dries it off for uh, later on in, in today's program. Going to double these cars up as they come out of four, and we're going to go green flag racing next time by on this beautiful Saturday night. Six cars making the call. One car not making it, and that looks like Dynamite Dave Rosa, our pole sitter, is not here. So... We will see what happened there. One to go signal given at the starter stand. Devin Cameron inside row number two there. Or it was scheduled to be on the inside of row two. He's got a different color car. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the next heat race. I'm looking ahead. Coming around to the green flag. Fast race track here tonight, eight laps is our heat race. As they come around turn four, green flag is gonna drop on the field. Dennis Gilcrease gets a good jump down the front straightaway into turn number one. Oh yeah, for sure. They, down the back straightaway, he's shooting out like a cannon away from the field. Down to turn number three, Gilcrease. Working now uh, midway up the racing surface. One car going way up the hill, almost into the fence, catching it. That is a 17 double D of uh, Jeff Benicourt. He falls all the way back to the back of the pack after starting uh, in the pit spot. Mike Renner, all the way from the sixth starting position. He is running in second. He's cutting down the 36 of Dennis Gilcrease. He took home the win last time here at Antioch Speedway and two weeks ago. Makes the pass. Yes, he makes an official pass out of turn four, and he's going to be our new leader. Three down, five to go. Two down, yeah, three down, five to go. 83.695 miles an hour that last time by. This racetrack is fast. We're already running above 80 miles an hour in uh, the beginning of the evening. We'll, we'll get faster as the night goes on, at least uh, through the heat races. Four in, four to go, and it's that 12 of Mike Runnard still running away are trying to run away, put a sizable gap on our second place position of Dennis Gilcrease. He's getting faster and faster every lap. That time of 15.69 on a stopwatch, 86.042 miles an hour. That car is fast here tonight. Yes, lightning quick right now. Like you said, the track is very fast right now. Two to go. As he crosses the line, Dennis Gilcrease in the second spot. Third, Travis Day. Fourth is the uh, Garrett Brady car. Fifth is the 80. Uh, Joe Terry and six is a 17 double D of Jeff Benicourt. White flag in the air one more time around. White flag in the air one more time around and he's just stretching that lead over Gilcrease right now. As they're all kind of distinctly running the same lane it looks like that middle lane as he rounds out four and it's going to be Mike Brunner taking home the win and second place that's going to be Dennis Gilcrease in the 88 in that is going to be Travis Day in the third position. Fourth to 32 of Brady. And fifth to 80 of Tar excuse me, Tardif. Heat race number one in the books. Spanky takes home this heat race. Heat race number two looks like this on the points. Out of Tracy, California, JT's Go Fast Shop. It's a 63N of Betty Olshaka. Buddy Olshaka on the point. Outside the front row, the 99N. That is Gage Myers out of Placerville, California. And in your second row, in the 18 Double D, that is going to be Devin Cameron. Uh, 
I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, that's going to be Devin Cameraman out of Dublin, California, in the Wagner Racing Cam Racing. And to his outside is going to be the 21 Double D. That is going to be Scott Dahl, um, Scott Dahlgreen. Dahlgreen out of Belico, California. In row three is the 11 Double D. That's Danny Wagner out of Bay Point, California, and the 38 of John Tardiff to his outside out of Vacaville, California. And in your final row, that is going to be in the 80 N is going to be Sean Jones out of San Jose, California. And the Zayati Racing Revved Up Photography's 80 N machine. All right, we're giving a one to go signal this time by. Heat race number two of three for the Delta Dwarf car. So all these numbers, all the cars that have double D after them, that is because they are part of the Delta Dwarf car racing club. That's how that works out, Delta Dwarf car. Getting them lined up. Captain Chaos, Danny Wagner, one to always look out for. He's, uh, he's hard to beat when he's here. Yeah, for sure. Um, as you can say, him and his him and his posse are all here tonight, um, um, looking to mix it up with uh, with everybody. So, should be good. We're getting set for a Marysville national event coming up not too long from now. With that, bringing them around nice and slow. It is our pole sitter. Buddy old Shaka in the 63 in. Green flag in the air. Green flag in the air. And it looks like it's going to be the 63 in of Buddy of Shaka. He jumps out to the early lead. With the le you see that? Cameron coming up off turn number two. Got pinched off. Had to get out of the gas. And lost two spots right there. Uh, but look, here comes Danny Wagner. Took He's him gonna... a whole lap. <laughs> take the lead. Danny Wagner on the point. Buddy old Shaka trying to battle back. Back in the back, Scott Dahlgren and Buddy, uh, excuse me, Devin Cameron battling with that battle up front. Here comes the, that was going to be 80 car, the 80. Of uh, Sean Jones. And of Sean Jones. Him and uh, Danny Wagner and Sean Jones back at the, the regional event back in July. They put on a whale of a battle at the main event on Saturday night with Sean Jones ultimately taking home a win. Uh, is there three in, five to go? It's still Danny Wagner leading to the point, but here comes Sean Jones. He's just throwing him in there into the turn. Nearly missing, nearly escaping the wall. As you see, Danny Wagner gets a little high. That's going to allow Sean Jones to close back in. Wagner down into turn number three. Sean Jones about five car lengths back. Then we got about seven back to the third place car. Uh, Buddy Olshaka. Fourth is Devin Cameron. He looks inside uh, Buddy Olshaka. Scott Dahlgren is after him, then the 99 N of Gage Myers, and complete our full field rundown, the 38 D, double D of John Carter. And uh, as you were saying, Devin Cameraman is going to make that pass, and he's going to move into the third position. Let's see, with two laps to go, can he hunt down the 80 N of Sean Jones? Got a long ways to go. Jones right up against the wall, entering turn number three. He throws that thing sideways early. White flag in the air one more time around. Danny Wagner down the front straight away into turn number one. He's working about four car wins up from the bottom of the racetrack. He's got Sean Jones about, Jones about four car lengths back. Jones hits the wall this time, gets a little too squirrely going into turn number three. Banks the wall with that outside tire. Danny Wagner with the win. Sean Jones second. Oh, Devin Cameron third. Sean Jones slips up across the line. Fourth is going to be Buddy Olshaka. Fifth is going to be Scott Dahlgreen, our defending Dwarf Bar champion here at Antioch Speedway. But uh, Sean Jones on that last lap, he's throwing that thing sideways right there underneath the Monster Energy sign on the back straightaway. And you can kind of see right below the M, that little clean spot about uh, 6, 12 inches off the racetrack. That's where part. he just hit the wall. Yeah. <laughs> No. Oh, yeah, he's he's throwing it in there. Like I said, it looks like he really wanted that heat race. Um, fell a little bit short, but... Uh. Those two love to battle each other. They just live for that. So, all right, Captain Chaos with heat race number two. Heat race number three rolling out, and it looks like this. On the point, all the way from Rio Vista. Nope, uh, I'm sorry, Lodi, New York. It's Michael Curry and the 99R. Or New York, I said Lodi, New York. That's where my mom lives. Lodi, California. Um, outside the front row, the 812 Double D of Chance Russell. He's out of Rio Vista, California. 
And in your second row, in the four in, that is going to be Ryan Winters out of Galt, California. And to his outside is going to be the 43, uh, Sean the Kid Katucci out of Brentwood, California, in the JNS Autoglass Inc. Seduction Sounds West Coast Green Rush. He won about a month ago. Inside row number three, the two double D, that's David Michael Rosa, new dad. He doesn't get much sleep anymore out of Antioch, California. The outside of him, Ellie Russo, the 31 double D. Another one of those uh, Wagner Racing race cars, and she will start in the six spots. And in your final row, the 777 in, that is going to be John Williams out of Auburn, California. That's your starting lineup for heat race number three. John Williams having trouble. I'm sorry, that's 99 uh, Michael Curry leaving. And he was our pole sitter. Falling out of the heat race. So that moves up the inside line. Ryan Winters will start on the point now. We are missing uh, David Michael Rosa as well. He did not make it. So neither of the Rosa boys made the heat races. Pretty not sure what happened uh, with, the, with the Rosa clan. Hopefully they'll make it out for the main event. As they round turn four, they're going to see the green flag for heat race number three. Green flag is out. Ryan Winters in the four in jumps out to the early lead. A fast car, as always, here at Antioch Speedway. Winters up off turn number two, down the back straightaway. He's got about two and a half car lengths over Chance Russell in the 812. Down into turn number three. Russell's got a couple car lengths back to the kid, Sean Kikuchi. And Ellie Russo fourth and fifth is that John Williams car. Oh, yes, Winters is pulling out a sizable lead over the 812 of Chance Russell. Here comes... Battle for second. Oh, yeah, battle for second. Sean Catucci looked to the inside. He had problem coming up off turn number four and falls back about four car lengths. Yeah, it looks like he slipped up a little bit, bobbled. Our Slip. leader, uh, Ryan Winter, down into turn number three. He gets a little bit loose in the middle of the turn. Gats it back up, does not lose much ground to Chance Russell. Russell's still got about a quarter straightaway, but he's getting pressure from behind by the kid, Katucci. Yeah, right now it kind of seems like they're all still running the same distinct line through the middle of the track, as you can see. Right, they're just so slightly ever pushing that cushion up. And the track still has some two. Gets down into turn number one, dives down low, tries to slide job, and it works, but Russell crosses over, gets back underneath Katucci, down the back straight away into turn number three. That battle for second, up off turn number four. Oh, they bump. Almost touch. White flag coming out next time by for our leader, Ryan Williams. That battle for second continues off turn number two. Sean the Kid Katucci has it. Down into turn number three. Now he gets a little bit of breathing or white flag in the air at the line. White flag for Winters. Look at that, A12. Chance Russell gets all kinds of loose. Right there coming up off turn number four. Gows it back up, but does lose a little bit of space. Coming out of turn number four, the checker flag is going to wait for the four in of Ryan Winters. And second is going to be the 43 of Sean Katucci, the 812 of Chance Russell. Ellie Russo's top or fourth, fourth place. And in your fifth place is going to be the 777 of John Williams, our unofficial top five. So that's going to do it for our Delta Dwarf cars. Congratulations to our winners. Ryan had a dominating win here in heat race number three. We're setting up. It is going to be a whale of a main event here. So our three heat win winners, uh, Michael Grenner, Spanky, in heat race number one. Number two is Captain Chaos, Danny Wagner, heat race number three, Ryan Winters. Congratulations to those three cars. Buddy is coming back out. Trying to get that car straightened out. Not sure what happened last time. We're going to have a six-lap heat race with our four super stocks. I guess uh, uh, we're down in numbers for this division tonight. After two weeks ago, the, the two-day show uh, tore up a lot of race cars. Yeah, uh, two-day show here at Antioch uh, and then at Petaluma. Uh, unfortunately, I, I didn't get to make Petaluma. I did get to watch a little bit on TV, and uh, I've seen a lot of stuff kind of get watered up. Up there, so that kind of is the reason one of the reasons uh, why we may not have uh, a lot of them here today or tonight. I'm sorry, Buddy Ness shaking down his car, getting ready for next weekend's final points event of the season. We finish up the, M the IMCA point season. 
next Saturday. Not done racing them, just uh, as far as points go. Our super stocks coming out next, as we were just talking about. So, looking at the starting lineup for heat race, for the heat race. Looks like this on the point. Took up a main event uh, about a month or so ago in this car. It is a 99 car of Brentwood. It was Presco, Mark Scott, Construction 3, the Escalating Ryland Racing Sponsor 99. That's Fast Freddy Ryland. Two heads outside. Out of Antioch, California, with J. Keith Trucking, Hot Shots Motorsports Photography, Jihad Hammer Racing Engines, Delta Transmission, and JB Vinyl. It is a 77 of Chris Long. And in your second row, and inside, the 48 out of Alamo, that is going to be John Evans. And to his outside, out of Sacramento, California, in the 92, that is going to be Jay Bryant and the Jay's Mobile Welding, the Call of Racing Products, Chad Hammer Racing Engines, Motion Media, number 92. And, of course, we want to say thanks to Jay Bryant, a strong supporter of racing, not just uh, a racer. He sponsors the Hobby Stock Division here. He throws up extra prizes most weeks. Um, sponsors a lot of race teams. So all around a strong supporter of racing here at Antioch Speedway. Thank you very much, Jay Bryant and Bryant's Mobile Welding. Or Jay's Mobile Welding, excuse me. We've got a six-lap heat race. Top four make it to the main event. Give them the one-to-go signal right, right now. As they're down the back straight away, getting set to go green. Fred Ryland on the point in that number 99. Fast Freddie Ryland. Green flag in the air. Down the front straight away. Chris Long to his outside. Ryland on the low side. Ryland through turns one and two. A little bit better, but Chris Long had a good run coming up off turn number two, but Ryland closed the door. Ryland slides up the racetrack. Chris Long dives down. And it's going to be Fred Ryland. Leads the first lap with Chris Long, Jay Bryant, and John Evans in that fourth place position. Now Jay Bryant wants to get racing with Chris Long in that 77 as he looks to the inside. Meanwhile, Fast Freddy up front all by himself. Down the front straight away. That battle for second continues. Jay Bryant down on the low side. Chris Long on the high side. That high side paying off a little bit better dividend. Coming up off the turn. Has a better run down the straightaway. In the turn, number three does Chris Long. Jay Bryant cuts down low once again looking to the inside. As you can see, the number 99 of Fred Ryland kind of eats off that cushion a little bit and powers out of the turns. And now Jay Bryant's going to make the move on Chris Long, putting Chris Long into the third place position. He's looking to hunt down the number 99 of Fred Ryland now with two laps to go. John Evans spun over in turn number two. He straightened it out, keep on going, but the back up to the battle at the front of the racetrack. Down into turn number three. Fast Freddy Ryland losing ground to Jay Bryant. The white flag is out. Bryant's got a long ways to go and a short time to get there. He's eastbound and down. Loading up and trucking. I'm sorry, I had to do it. <laughs> got to have Smokey and the Bandit once in a while. Down into turn number three. Fast Freddy Ryland coming around. He's going to lead flag to flag up on turn number four. Fast Freddy Ryland in that 99. Crosses the line. Takes home the win. Jay Bryant in that second spot after starting in the back of the field. Oh. Chris Long into the wall in turn number four. All the way down the front straight away. At the finish, he still gets third. John Evans will get four. I think he made contact with the wall coming out of four. And he just rolled the wall completely across the front straight away. You can see the tracks coming up off. He was he went high uh, into turn number three, and you watch his tracks got up over the cushion in turn four, and see the tracks right into the wall down there, right there at the uh, grandstand split down there in turn number four. And he rose, as you said, rode the wall all the way down to where he has come to a stop down there, almost to turn number one. Yeah, it's just uh, it's, like I said, still pretty wet, and probably got into just some of the loose stuff, and ended up getting collected into the wall. So congratulations to Fast Freddy Ryland for heat race number one, or excuse me, heat race win for tonight's Super Stock. We have a big show coming up for them later in the season. We'll have the Tri-State uh, folks back as well. 
Last lap, a 16.10 on a stopwatch, 83.851 miles an hour. Keep an eye on our website at www.antiochspeedway. That's www.antiochspeedway.com. Our Facebook, of course, is Antioch Speedway at, or excuse me, Antioch Speedway by promotions, Antioch Speedway by promotions. And also we have Antioch Speedway dot TV, Antioch Speedway dot TV on Facebook. And of course, keep an eye on mine at Antioch Speedway announcer. Antioch Speedway announcer. As they're hooking up Chris Long right now and going to take him back to the pits, hopefully we'll be able to see him get back, fix it, and uh, get back out for the feature, or in time for the feature. Hopefully not too much damage done to that. Uh, see some suspension damage on the right front. All right, uh, we're going wingless sprint car racing now. And on the point. Got a couple cars here I got to add in that worked here when I came upstairs. Like that one. On the point, out of Morgan Hill, California, it's the 1C of Jimmy Christian. Outside the front row, the number two car out of or lives on the Delta Norms Auto and Machine. Jerry Caesar Enterprises, sponsored two car of Kevin Box. And in your second row on the inside, the 77 out of Concord, California, that is Ryan Siverling. And to his outside is the 3F out of Galt, California. That is Matt Streeter. See, I marked the wrong one. That switches back between uh, Streeter and David Lint, and last time it was Lint. So, there we go. Uh, inside row number three, out of San Jose, California, he's stepping out of his dwarf car, stepping into a wingless sprint car, Sean Jones in that 24 car to his outside. It is the 87 car, not being driven tonight by Dan Gonnerman, not being driven tonight by Abigail Gonnerman, not being driven tonight by Josh Leach. Tonight, being driven by James Thompson out of Pittsburgh, California. Hot Shots Motorsports Photography and Main Machine sponsorship on that car. And in your final row, the 11B out of Fairfield, California. That is going to be Alan Miranda. Uh, the 11 Bravo Motorsports Tow Performance Atomic Designs All American Power Coating uh, 11B of Alan Miranda. That's our starting lineup for heat race number one for our wingless sprint cars. Bringing both heat races out to help uh, get them pushed off. A little quicker, we hope. Second, I thought it was a helicopter and it was a cart. So 14. Wingless sprint cars here tonight. Going to push them off and get ready to go green flag racing. Yeah, we have uh, 14 entries for the wingless spec sprints tonight for tonight's program. Uh, this is uh, one of two heats that they'll be racing. Eight lap heat race. If you haven't seen uh, this week's edition of Wiley's Race Report, head on over to YouTube at Antioch Speedway Announcer or Facebook or on the Antioch Speedway by Promotions Facebook page or even on the Antioch Speedway websites. Uh, you can see it. Had a nice interview with uh, the Maverick Mark Garner. Talked a lot about his dad as it was the fifth anniversary of his dad passing. Now, I saw some smoke coming out of Bob Newberry. I sit down in the car uh, during hot laps and saw some smoke coming out of the car. I don't know if it was just coming out the breather after getting off uh, the gas or if it was actually an issue, but see if there's any issues with the 36. Yeah, you can kind of smell the, the burnt, uh, I believe it was burnt oil um, a little bit. Uh, hopefully he has it fixed and... Uh, We'll see him out here for his heat race. 
Oh, hey, you want we forgot to talk about? Or at least since I've been back up here. MRP. My race pass. That's right, folks. Head on over to your favorite store, whether you have Apple or Android or whatever your mobile device is, and download My Race Pass. Search in, search My Race Pass. It is a free app. There are, of course, upgrades if you want to pay some money. But uh, this is where all the lineups are. The results will be there. Um, who all is here? Car counts and whatnot. Um, as we get further on, as Chad and Tina continue putting money into this racetrack and building up the facilities as they do on a constant basis since taking over at the beginning of the year, um, we will be having live timing and scoring in the uh, future, hopefully as soon as next year, uh, early. And you'll be able to follow live timing and scoring on my race pass. So you can watch that on one screen and watch Antioch Speedway TV on another screen or split your screen and have a tool split screen that way. Or if you're um, eventually, eventually, when uh, we have uh, fans in the stands and you guys are just curious of uh, where your driver is going to be starting or, um, you know, how fast the lap times are, you can always um, also go into my race pass and um, it, it literally will give you everything you need. Now if you go to our... our Website, the Antioch Speedway website, when you click on results, the results schedule tab at the top actually takes you to my race pass. That's where it is being upkept. And as we continue to build that up again, another one of those things that we're building up, um, we will start getting sponsors and all kinds of other information, driver information. There's driver bios. I know I've started putting stuff in on mine um, in there. Drivers will be able to do that. So it is going to be a handy tool to have to just enhance our deal here at Antioch Speedway. So James Thompson uh, stepping into a wingless sprint car. He was nervous when I talked to him earlier. He was uh, feeling a little nauseous from his nerves and hopefully he got those butterflies settled down and getting ready to take his first hot laps, angry laps at uh, in a wingless sprint car. Oh yeah, like you said, the track is still very fast. So I'm I'm excited to see these uh, these sprint cars here um, for this heat race. We have the 33s, both of them, in the second heat race. A potential viewing of what's going to come in the main event. Those two cars have been the class of the field for about a month, a couple months anyway, for uh, the wingless sprint cars. Young Dylan. Bloomfield and DJ Johnson. I told G DJ earlier when I saw him, I said, DJ, you got to start at the back of the pack. He goes, why is that? Just to make it fair. Have a little fun. It'll be fun to watch you coming up through there back of the pack. He didn't want to do that, though. Plus, he has to. I don't know why. All right, we got all the cars rolling for heat race number one. Two heat races for the Wingo Sprint cars, eight laps each. And he's going to turn them loose a little bit. Some of the differences with wingless sprint cars as far as the rules go on restarts. Um, the rest of the divisions, we uh, besides sprint cars, we do what's called the Texas-style restart on sprint cars. Once the initial start has taken place, each and every restart is single file. There's a cone put down uh, in the center of the front straightaway right beneath Fabulous Bob on the flag stand, and you cannot pull out the pass or go below that cone. If you do, you are penalized two positions at the next flag. Getting them doubled up. We got uh, Kevin Box. He's outside the front row. He's way ahead of everybody else. We got to get him, uh, either the rest of the field caught up with him or him slowing down. Ready to go green flag racing for the wingless sprint cars. Thanks again for tuning in to Antioch Speedway TV. I am going to predict we're going to hit over 90 miles an hour in the heat races here tonight. For these fine folks. So coming around, Jimmy Christian has control of the field. As they're going to get set to go green, coming into turn three, rolling in kind of slow. Jimmy Christensen, Kevin Box, green flag is out. 
who's gonna jump to the early lead? It looks like it's, oh, it's gonna be Jimmy Christensen jumping out to the early lead. Here comes that 3F of Matt Streeter. He's already up the second. Started outside the second row. It's up there, picks up a couple spots at lap number one. Down the back straight away. He eyes inside Jimmy Christian. Look who's in third is the 24 of Sean Jones from his fifth place starting position. Jones already won race in tonight with uh, finishing second in his Delta Dwarf car. He gets underneath that uh, 3F car of Streeter. Streeter closes the door, going down the back straight away into turn number two. Big difference from a from a dwarf car from a sprint car, but he uh, looks like he's doing pretty well as he looks to the inside. Once again, it closes the door. Oh, and he looks to the outside of Streeter, and he's going to roll past him. Wow, what a move. Jones now trying to make a battle for a three wide. Coming up off turn number two. Streeter gets back by Jones. What a battle for second. Back and forth between Streeter and Jones. And here comes Jones once again, and he's going to get by Streeter this time. Jones tries to dive down into turn number one to get underneath Christian. Not doing it. Now he's got to... He's got Streeter back on his inside. Two to go this time by. What a battle for the lead. What a battle. And they're not allowing the leader to check away from them. As Jimmy Christensen still, they're all just locking down that inside. As Jones this time, white flags out. Does he have anything for Jimmy Christensen? As he looks around the outside, is he going to get it? No, he's going to be denied down the back straightaway. One more time through three, through four. There he goes up on the high side. And it's going to be, oh, too close to call at the line. Jones takes the win. Christian second. Streeter in that third spot. Fourth will be the 11 Bravo of Alan Miranda. Fifth, Ryan Silverling. Wow. By what about six race. inches. What a race for Shirley. And that was just only heat race number one. Last lap of 14.35 on the stopwatch. That's 94.077 miles an hour. Hey, guess what? James Thompson finished the race. That's step number one, stepping into a new class like that. Good job, James. He'll be back out. He is our current uh, quasi-points leader. He's still a couple behind Travis Dutra in the Jays Mobile Welding Hobby Stocks, but Dutra no longer has a hobby stock. So um, he Dutra will fall back this upcoming weekend um, as they are that close. Heat race number two after Sean Jones steals it coming up off turn number four and down the front straightaway. What a beautiful pass. He had to work for that whole race. Great battle between him and Streeter and then suddenly, bam, jumps on, grabs the lead. Heat race number two looks like this. The young man, 14 years old, on the point, Dylan Bloomfield. Out of Oakley, California, Air One Heating and Air Conditioning, Napa Auto Parts out there in Brentwood, KC's Auto Body, Delta Contracting, Unique Pest Control, K1 Race Gear, Extreme Motorsports, CTA uh, Prouts, 33 Motorsports, and East Bay Meal Prep sponsorship on that car. Two is outside his mentor. Also out of Oakley with Air One Heating and Air Conditioning, Oakley Collision Center, Wayne Swisher Cement, Delta RC Raceway Hobbies. Uh, Scott Martin Racing, Skit, uh, Rick's Specialty Powder Coating, and Line X Customs, the 36 of Bob Newberry. And in your second row to the inside out of Antioch, California, uh, in the 48 is going to be Troy Ferry of uh, Troy Ferry Trucking, Uncle Sam, SNS Automotive, Bunker Motorsports, and to his outside is going to be the 33 DJ out of Stockton, California, DJ Johnson. Halstead Real Estate Team and Keller Williams Real Estate. Uh, Bills Tires and Service Alpha Pacheco, Sean's Motorsports, Engine Tuning by Bob, uh, DJ Johnson. It's at row number three. Out of Santa Rosa, TK Mobile sponsorship on the 50 car. That's Tony Bernard to his outside. Out of Brentwood, California, Power Source Electrical Contractors, All Pro Glass, Pantel Music Box, downtown Antioch since 1953. Deer Valley Chiropractic, Dr. Rick Harris. American Custom Motorcycle Parts and Sarah Pointer Photography, the 92A of Jeff Scotto. And in your final row is the 21 out of Antioch, California. That is going to be Roy Fisher and the Patricia Fisher, Rick McCaws, PBS Brushings 21, uh, Rick Fisher. I mean, I'm sorry, Roy Fisher out of Antioch. 
That is our starting lineup for heat race number two. This is our last heat race of the evening. And it is only 7.06. A beautiful Saturday racing. These guys are doing a great job. Uh, no yellow flag so far tonight. I shouldn't have said that out loud. Oh, yeah. wow, you're you're right. Yeah, no yellow flags no in, yellow flags in so a far. heat race. Yeah. I, did, I hope I didn't jinx this. All right. Getting a little packing done on the high signs. DJ Johnson, winner last time out, that 33 DJ. After getting the lead, um, Dylan Bloomfield dominated, what, three quarters or more of that race. Um, and then a late race caution came out. And then he started having motor trouble and lost the, uh, lost the lead and then lost the motor. Oh, yeah. Uh, and as they come around, green flags out. Uh, looks like Newberry is going to get the jump. Bob's going to say, nope, calling that one back. Newberry had a little bit too good of a start. As they're going to try one more time. But yeah, he um, he was, I want to say, a lap and a half, two laps away from a victory, and um, engine ended up giving out on him and uh, almost went back to back. But uh, he's back for redemption. We seen him last week come out and he tested uh, his sprint car, tested his motor. Um, so I'm looking, I'm looking. Like I said, I picked him earlier already. Um, looking for redemption for the win. Hey, don't forget the IMCA stock cars added to the Bill Bauer Memorial Race. Coming up, green flag in the air. Green flag out in the air. Once again, it's going to be Bob Newberry jumps out to the lead. But look, look at DJ Johnson around the high side, takes the lead. Coming up off turn number two down the back straightaway. Yeah, he's not messing around. He wants he wants it. And DJ Johnson going to lead left one with Bob Newberry in second. I and think there was a great learning uh, situation for Dylan Bloomfield because both times on those starts, Bob Newberry immediately cut down in front of him. He's got to get out there a little bit better and keep him. Yeah, for sure. And uh, already, DJ Johnson putting a sizable lead on Bob Newberry. As you see, Dylan Bloomfield try to get inside of uh, Bob Newberry and show him that he's there and he wants to make the move. And sliding all the way up the track. Also, was at 50 of Tony Bernard. Coming up off turn number four, DJ Johnson at the line. We are four down, four to go. Second is Bob Newberry. Third is Dylan Bloomfield. Fourth, it is the uh, Tony Bernard car. Fifth is Troy Ferry. Sixth is Scott uh, Jeff Scotto. And in the back of the pack, seven, it is the 21 of Roy Fisher. Dylan Bloomfield still. Now he's just railing the cushion. And it looks like he has almost, a, I believe, a straightaways lead on our second place position car. DJ Johnson up on turn number four, two to go this time high. Two to go for DJ. And it looks like they're all kind of running this the same distinct line. White flag in the air coming up off turn number four. Get you a time to see how fast he's running. 14.10 on the stopwatch, 94, 95.745 miles an hour. Oh yeah, they are flying around this track. And DJ goes to three, comes out of four. He's gonna see the checker flag. It's gonna be DJ Johnson. He it looks like he has a flat left rear as he was coming out of four. As you see, that car is limping down the back straightaway. He does have a flat left rear. Or, I'm sorry, a flat right rear, actually. He had seven and three quarters tires on that thing. Coming out of four. Slowed down to 91 yeah, miles an hour as he had to get out of the gas coming up off there. Yeah, he has a... He has a Flat right rear tire. All right, everyone. Uh, that is going to complete our heat races for tonight's program. Oh, we got, <clears throat> excuse me. I know I already went through voice change in my life. Got uh, Buddy Nitz coming back out to uh, take some hot laps. And then we'll take our intermission. But don't forget, coming up. Next Saturday, that's right, we're looking ahead to next Saturday already. It is going to be a lot of fun as we are going to have the IMCA Modifieds, IMCA Sport Modifieds, and the Hobby Stocks. It is the final points race night for IMCA. It's a championship night for the Modifieds and Sport Modifieds. 
on the 26th of September. That's the Tommy Thompson Tribute Show. Uh, Super Sox, Tri-State Pro Sox will be here. The Wayman Sprint Cars. BCRA Midgets and the Hard Tops for the Tommy Thompson Tribute Night. Then we get into the first, second, and third of October. What's that you say? Well, that's the Bill Bowers Memorial. Last year, we call it the West Coast Nationals. The fr first is a practice night. We'll also have uh, cornhole and a barbecue. Night number one of racing action on the second for the IMCA Modified, Sport Modifieds, and the IMCA Stock Cars on October 2nd. And on October 3rd, also Bill Bowers Memorial, night number two, 5,000 to win for the Modifieds, 2,500 for the Sport Modifieds. And I think I saw 1,000 to win for the IMCA Stock Cars. That is night number two. You can see all the racing action for the Bill Bowers Memorial on Low racing. On October 10th, the Donosaurus Larry DeVince Memorial Hall of Fame night. Hobby Stocks, Super Stocks, Tri-State Pro Stocks, Wing the Sprint Cars, and the Valley Four Bangers making their final show of the year. That is October 10th. Again, folks, get yourself a Four Banger if you don't have one. They are a blast to run. October 16th and 17th, that is the North Car Open Show, a two nights show. And on the 17th, the Delta North Cars. We'll be joined by the Wingless Sprint Car. October 24th on Saturday, the Hobby Stock Open Show. A big show for the Hobby Stocks, Tri State, uh, or Super Stocks, Tri State Pro Stocks will join them on that night. We're racing on Halloween night. The IMCA Modifieds, Sport Modifieds, Super Stocks, Tri State Pro Stocks, and Wingless Sprint Cars will be in action on October 31st. Then we take a few weeks off before we come back for a two night show. It's Turkey Night 1 and Turkey Night 2. That's right, we're racing on Thanksgiving weekend, Friday night the 27th. We got the Hobby Stocks. The Jays Mobile Welding Hobby Stocks, the Wing of Sprint Cars, and the Wing Sprint Cars. And on Saturday the 28th, Turkey Night number two, it's the IMCA Modifieds, IMCA Sport Mods, and the Hobby Stocks. All that coming up right here from Antioch Speedway. We have got a whale of the rest of the year. And then suddenly we're going to be in the offseason, then we'll be back at it. And I can't wait to have the fans back in the stands. With that, we're going to take intermission. Here is the last episode of Wiley's Race Report. Hello, race fans. I'm Wiley Wade, and this is Wiley's Race Report. Hello, race fans. I'm Wiley Wade, and this is Wiley's Race Report for Saturday, September 5th, 2020, where we had the IMCA Modifieds, IMCA Sport Modifieds, and the Jays Mobile Welding Hobby Stocks, all putting on some great shows this past Saturday night. But first, I want to remind you this upcoming Saturday night, we have the Delta Dwarf Cars in action, the Super Stocks, the Tri-State Pro Stocks will be there as well, the Wingless Sprint Cars, and the Valley Four Bangers. Make sure you tune in and watch uh, make my second start in the Valley Four Bangers if all goes as planned. It's going to be a lot of great fun, a lot of great racing action, and the only place to see it is on Antioch Speedway TV. That's right, Antioch Speedway TV is the place to be for all the action live and direct from Antioch Speedway, where action is the attraction. This past Saturday night, September 5th, we had a barn burner of a main event for the Jays Mobile Welding Hobby Stocks when Demasi Scoggins and James Thompson battled through most of the event, getting passed by Mitch Enos off the last corner after the first two cars of Scoggins and Thompson got together. But that didn't solve it right there, even though Enos crossed the finish line first. He got DQ'd in tech, and that put Scoggins back onto the main event win. That was one heck of a main event. Demasi Scoggins taking home the win for the Jays Mobile Welding Hobby Stocks. In the IMCA Sport Modified action, we had the Iceman, Tommy Frazier, take home his first win of the year at Antioch Speedway. He is, of course, the 2019 champion in the Sports Modified division. And then on the main event for the IMCA Modifieds, quick Nick DiCarlo took home the win, and as soon as he crossed the start-finish line, the rear end fell to pieces. Broke a yoke, drive shaft came out, all kinds of trouble. He ended up in victory lane on the back of a hook. But... It was a 25-lap main event. He had a 25-lap car, and good thing it wasn't any farther because that was all that that car had. If you're interested in those pictures you just saw, Katrina Ness Photography took those. You can check out her website, 
for lots of pictures that she takes each and every Saturday night. Again, all the Winter Circle pictures there from Katrina Niss Photography. Thank you, Katrina. Again, don't forget this Saturday night, we do have some great racing action in store for you with the Delta Dwarf cars, the Super Sox, Tri-State Pro Sox, Wingless Sprint cars, and the Valley Four Bangers all on Antioch Speedway TV. That is the place to be for all the racing action live and direct from Antioch Speedway. This past Saturday night, I had the opportunity to talk to a gentleman. I've talked to him before. He is kind of a regular here on Wiley's Race Report. And we were talking more about his dad this time. Of course, I'm talking about the driver of the 76 Sport Modified, Mark Garner. Here with Mark Garner, driver of the 76 IMCA Sport Modified. First of all, Mark, uh, tonight you're coming into the race. There's two points races left. You're leading the points. Yes, I guess the points that we're supposed to be having, but play by air, just here to have fun. So what's your uh, what's your plan? You're not even worried about points. You're just going to go out and go for the win? I want to go race. I just want to go race and have fun, and, you know, that's it. Just car works good. I'm happy, and we're just working to build, build the car up to get better for some of the big open shows, the Pettit, uh, Vegas, things like that. Yeah, I just saw a poster come across on Facebook with uh, you on there talking about dueling in the desert. Yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty cool. It was a car, for, that was a BMS last year. Um, yeah, now we got the, the GRT. So play by ear, see how it goes. Um, Vegas is always fun. Um, my family goes down. We, we just have a good time for seven, eight days. One of these years, I got to go down and crash in your room with you. Absolutely, your with it's you. so you fun. House. It is. Uh, last year, we got the same house this year. It's got a nice pool, hot tub. Um, yeah, a bunch of people came by last year, Chet and Beverly, uh, Wagner and Ellie. Um, yeah, there's just a bunch of people there. We had a good time, barbecued, and yeah, just relax. So, you've been racing in some manner or been involved in racing for most of your life? Yes, since um, I was probably six months old, I was at a race. So. That was in large part due to your dad? Yes, correct. So, yesterday was the fifth anniversary of his passing? Yes. So, what's some of the influence? I know you still carry a driver's suit around with you when you're driving when you're driving a race car. The influence of my dad was, God, he just, he loved the sport. He loved racing. He just he made a lot of good friends, and friends became family, and family started racing more and more. And um, yeah, it was. Uh, um, he's the biggest reason why I'm out here racing. That's for sure. What was his biggest influence when you were a teenager? I know having a teenage son, they can uh, the relationship can be uh, 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 challenging at times. Did you have that problem with your dad? Absolutely. Um, my dad was really big into racing, and I wasn't. Um, I played baseball all through. I mean, since I was six years old until my senior year in high school, and I, baseball was number one to me. Racing was just I'd get done with baseball, and I'd come to the track and help him, and that was that's where it basically started for me after I was done with baseball and. He was getting tired and said, hey, you want to run? I was like, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. And so he bought me a Modify. We built one, um, ran that for a couple years, and then got hooked up with uh, Jimmy Reed and Bart Reed at Cobra Chassis and built a Cobra car. And 98, I think we won our first main event. And yeah, that's that's it. We ran until 2001, um, sold my race car, raised my boys, um, got back into it in 2013 or 14. and because of Beverly and Chet Niss, they had a car sitting there and they said, why don't you put it together? I was like, nah, 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 I ain't doing it. So I talked to my dad about it. He goes, kids are getting older, why not? Get back into it, see what you think of it. And so we did. And ran 13 and 14 and then 15 won a championship in Merced. Um, finished top three the next three years and then 18 won a championship at, here at Antioch. So at some point, um, the father-son relationship becomes a friendship. And I know just from the way you talk about them, <laughs> and the videos and the pictures and stuff. He wasn't just your dad. No, he wasn't just my dad. He'd, uh, he'd come to the shop like during the week when I was working and I'd go in the back of the shop, he'd be tinkering with the race car and I'm like, ah, what are you doing? He goes, oh, I'm just checking, make sure you got everything done. And I'm like, all right. And yeah, we'd go, we'd have our breakfast and we'd, we'd hang out on Saturday mornings and he was always in the stands watching me race. Um, he couldn't come to the pits anymore, but he was always, I knew where he was at in the stands every week and I could come on the track and I'd, he could always he'd give me his little wave and tell me, go, go to the front. So that's kind of still sticks with me, even though he's not here. And some days are better than others. <laughs> it's sad. It, it can be tough even, you know, five years later. It is. Um, everybody says, oh, it gets easier. It might get easier, but it's, you know, I still have my moments. And I'll go sit down at the water and 
talk to him and yeah, just figure it out, get some advice from him and tell me to keep doing what I'm doing. Now, with having that relationship you had with your dad and then his passing away, how has that changed your relationship with your boys? You know, I think it's, I think it's brought me and my boys a lot closer. Um, I try to do more stuff with them besides just at the racetrack. I mean, we'll do barbecues on Sunday or we'll take off and go up to Reno for the day or go fishing or just, just screw around. And that's kind of what my dad did. And my dad's big thing was Sunday dinners and we'd barbecue every Sunday and my dad always cooked more food than the people were there and people would just stop by and, hey, you hungry? And we'd feed them dinner. And that's, and that's pretty much the same way I do it too. And I cook food for 30 and we only have 10 people there. So it's, there's always food in my house, always food in my trailer. Uh, wherever we go, everybody's, everybody's gonna get fed. Nobody's gonna go left out. Your dad was around here for a long time at, a, at this racetrack and influenced yes. things. Um, what are some of your the history that you remember the most of your dad at this racetrack? Uh, my dad won a big race out here. He won the Firecracker 50, I think in 80, 81, 82, 83, somewhere right there was a 50 lapper. And God, there's so many good drivers there. Bobby Hogue, Dave Bird, um, just a lot, of the, a lot of the guys that came to Antioch to run these big races. And, he won, I think that was probably his biggest win ever, and he was so excited. I mean, I think him and Jerry Hetrick put a motor together in his garage with used bearings and just stuff. And Billy Bowers was always with my dad, helping him out. And so Billy did a lot of stuff for my dad as well. So yeah, it's just seeing a guy that doesn't have a lot of money come out here and maybe not compete week in and week out, but have those shining moments every now and then. And my dad did that for sure. And. Yeah, he got a lot of respect from a lot of people, and he was just a, he was just a good dude. A really, really down to earth and just a fun guy to be around. So just so everybody knows, what, what number did he typically run? His name, is any nicknames, what do you have? Yeah, my dad, he ran, his, his number was 76A. Um, he lived in the city, and the, his first sponsor he got was Unical 76. And the guy says, hey, you run my number. He goes, I'll give you a thousand bucks. And back then, a thousand bucks was pretty much a whole season yeah, of racing yeah. for him. And so that's how he got stuck with 76. And you know, I, I took over the 76 for that same reason. Um, I actually had 76 Junior. And he said, first time you win a main event, we'll take it off and just run straight up 76A. And so I did. And then after he passed away, I kind of got rid of the A. That was kind of his number. And I didn't want to do, I want him to be remembered for just his stuff. My dad was just a, he was such a good dude. And 76A is his number. And so I run straight up 76. Uh, my son runs straight up 76 now. So yeah, it was just, 76A will always be in our family. Um, it's always going to be part of us. Um, Mavericks Racing is my dad's nickname is Jerry the Maverick Garner. Um, I don't even know how he got that. There's a bunch of different stories how he got it. So I don't know if he was just BSing how he got it all, but yeah, it was uh, just yeah, it stuck. So we're the, we'll, we'll always be Maverick Racing just because of my dad, and I'll never change that. It'll never get changed. So well, good luck tonight. Good luck the rest of the year. Thank you. And enjoy the big show. Always. Thanks for talking Bye -bye. to me again. Absolutely, thank you. Mark Griner, driver of the 76 IMCA Sport Modified, going in tonight with the points lead. That was the interview I had with Mark Griner on Saturday night, just past five years after his dad passed away. Um, hope you enjoyed that little chat with Mark. We'll see him back again, I know. But uh, next week, tune in, find out who we're going to have then. This upcoming weekend, Delta Dwarf Car, Super Stocks, Tri State Pro Stocks. The wingless sprint cars and the Folly Four Bangers all in action at Antioch Speedway on the 3 8 mile semi-high banked oval. You don't want to miss it, and the only place to see it, because we still are not allowed to have fans in the stands, of course, is at AntiochSpeedway.tv. That's AntiochSpeedway.tv. Subscribe for the weekend's race. I hope you're enjoying it. It's been a lot of fun doing this year, but I'll tell you what, I'll enjoy it a whole lot more when I have fans in the stands. Up next, there's a two-part. For some reason, my feed stopped halfway, partway through my uh, pit walk. But here's my pit walk from Saturday night. Had a chance to talk with uh, Jewel Crandall and also talked with Dalton Jewel. Hello, race fans. Welcome to Antioch Speedway. We're getting set for the George Sites Freedom Series race number three as I walk over here. Jewel Crandall, you're live on Facebook on Antioch Speedway by promotions. You're getting set for racing. You've got 35 other cars to race tonight to get into the main event. You having fun this year running that hobby sock? Yeah, it's pretty fun. Here, let me try to use my hat. How's that? Oh, there we thank go. You. 
What are you learning out there in that uh, running your hobby stock? Definitely not to oversteer and to drive with the other drivers. So stay out of their way. So what's your plan for the rest of this year? Just finish it out and uh, yeah, get ready for finish, next year? Finish this out with my car and next year I'll have a new car. New car for next year? New, new hobby stock. Oh, very cool. Yep. All right. Well, good luck tonight. Have Thank fun. You. Joel Crandall, driver of the 03 Hobby Stock uh, here at Antioch Speedway. As we continue walking around, let's see who uh, we can find over here. Billy Bad Boy Garner is here tonight getting set for running. We got uh, Dalton. You're live on Facebook. What's going on? Uh, here with, with Chris Bennett's race car. Yes, sir. Here, let me come over on this side. The sun won't be in your eyes. How's that? That's perfect. Dal Dalton, you're, you're here with Chris Bennett's... Uh, you, you kidnapped or car napped and truck napped his truck in his car. Yes, sir, I sure did. Just for tonight. Just for tonight. So you're going to go out and have a little fun with this hobby sock he has? Yes, sir. I'm going to try to do something with it. I mean, uh, I've had a couple good showings in it. Bennett's had a really good showing in it the past couple times. So let's see what he can do. Um, Where's he at? How come he's not in this car? He is at Super Nationals in Boone, Iowa. He went out there. Yeah, he went out there. He went with Carl Berenson to pit for him and everything. So It's funny how often I see people leave town and then suddenly their race car still shows up. Some, it happens sometimes <laughs> like that. So what's your plan? Yeah, I know you sold your race car here a couple weeks ago. What's um, your plan going forward? Save some money and hopefully buy a stock car. I, I want to get into the stock car class. Um, I drove Bennett's a couple times and it's, it's a fun car. Very fun car. Problem. That's my plan. All right. Well, good luck tonight. You're the first person to, uh, to hear it. So. All right. And, and we're pulling a You're... normal Chris Bennett move, having somebody else hot lap him up back the car. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And then you get in it and race it. Yes, sir. 36 cars tonight. Yes, sir. Hopefully we get a, just make the main. That's all I want to do is make the main. There you go. All right. Go. Who else we got here? All the drivers actually are in the drivers meeting at the moment. So. But we have a lot of cars here. 36, count them, 36 hobby stocks here tonight. 24 IMCA Sport Modified, 17 Modifieds here tonight. We have a lot of, a lot of racing going to come up, a lot of great racing. And Jason Jennings, I don't see your car out here. Where are you at? I see you on here watching. Hi, Trevor. Hi. Um, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget Antioch Speedway TV is the only place to be for all the racing action live and direct from Antioch Speedway. So just go on, on, go on over to AntiochSpeedway.tv Antioch and sign up with your subscription and you can get all the racing action live and direct here from Antioch Speedway. We look forward to having you out there. We're going to have a lot of great racing action. Another exciting fun-filled evening of racing here at Antioch Speedway with a ton of race cars here on this beautiful Saturday, although granted a little bit toasty, but that's okay, we will survive. We're at the racetrack. You can't complain being at the racetrack. It's going to be hot. It's Labor Day weekend in Antioch, California. You just deal with it. So, but anyway, thanks for tuning in. That was my pit walk this past Saturday with Jewel Crandall and Dalton Jewel. Didn't think about the name correlation there until after the fact, but anyway. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, they both went out and had some fun and look forward to having them both back. With that, Delta Dwarf cars, the Super Stocks, Tri-State Pro Stocks, the Valley Fourbangers, and the Wingless Sprint cars all in action this Saturday night, the 12th of September, 2020. Don't want to miss a minute of the action. Tune in to Antioch Speedway TV. That's AntiochSpeedway.tv. Keep an eye on our website at AntiochSpeedway.com. If you've gone in there and looked at the results, and schedule page, you'll notice it takes you over to My Race Pass. That is an app you can download. It's free. And, of course, you can pay money for extra frills and thrills, of course. But uh, overall, the app is free. That's where all the action uh, results, schedules will be kept, is on My Race Pass. So don't forget to download that. Also, keep an eye on our Facebook page at Antioch Speedway by Promotions. Antioch Speedway by Promotions. Also, on AntiochSpeedway.tv on Facebook, and of course mine, Antioch Speedway Announcer, on Facebook and YouTube. That's where you're going to get all your latest news, notes, and tidbits of information are those locations. So don't forget to like and follow all of them across all the different platforms. That's going to do it for this episode of Wiley's Race Report. Until next time, until this Saturday, when we have the Delta Dwarf Cars Super Stocks four bangers and wing of sprint cars on Antioch Speedway TV. I'm Wiley Wade. 
Good night, everybody. And that's the current episode of Wiley's Race Sport. You can see that on AntiochSpeedway.com, Antioch Speedway Buyer Promotions, Antioch Speedway.tv on Facebook, Antioch Speedway Announcer on Facebook and YouTube. With that, i got to head downstairs. I'm going to hand over the uh, Star Spangled Banner duties to Joe. Um, just want to say thank you if you're a member of the military or a former member of the military. If you're a first responder, thank you very much as we remember 9-11 here on this weekend. Star, Star Spangled Banner coming up next. anthem as we get set to have our first feature event the four banger feature event and want to give some sh a shout out to some of the sponsorships for for putting up purse money for this um, four banger main event Quality Aero Maintenance. And uh, also a uh, Polar Bear and Ice Cream. Putting up the purse for these drivers. So we're going to get started with the lineup. Starting in the sixth row. Is going to be the 33 L of Leo Lots. And to his inside is going to be the 722 out of Modesto, California of Trevor Drawley. In the fifth row, starting on the outside. Out of Brentwood, California, that is going to be the 23 of Jess Palladino. And uh, in the 777, 
That is going to be Clint Massey. Or Clinton Massey. In your fourth row, the 68 out of Modesto, California, that is going to be Chris Corder. And to his inside, that is going to be the 27D out of Clovis, California, of Ryan Dolingi. In your third row, starting on the outside, is going to be the 9 out of Visalia, California. That is going to be Gene Glover. And to his inside is going to be the 77X out of Dinuba, California. That is going to be Sean DePriest. And your second row on the outside in the 5S, that is going to be Alan Neal. And in the 18X, that is going to be the out of Colina, California, Dan Myrick. And starting on your front row, on the outside, that is going to be the 75 out of Clovis, California, that is going to be Jeff Durant. And on your pole, the 77 out of Strathmore, California. That is going to be Matthew Herod. That's going to be your starting lineup for the Valley Four Bangers. Also starting in the rear of the field also is a 714 out of Martinez, California. That is going to be Wiley Wade. As the dwarf cars are going to get set, 25 lap feature. I'm sorry, the four bangers get set for uh, the 25 lap feature. All 13 of our entries made it to the feature. Two weeks ago, our four banger winner, Jess Palladino. See if he can repeat. As a pace car pulls to the infield. As they come out of turn four. Green flag's gonna drop. Jumping out to the early lead. It's gonna be the 77. Of Matt Herod. It looks like they all make it through turns two. Coming to lead the first lap one is going to be Matt Herod with the 75 of Jeff Durant sitting in second. Here comes the heat race winner, number nine. And that fifth lead takes away that uh, fifth place position. Gene Glover.
Looks like that 77 of Matt Hurd trying to pull away from the rest of the field. Three laps in, 22 laps to go. And it's a battle brewing for the second place position as the 18X of Dan Myrick gets by the 75. And also looking to get by is the number 68. As he squeezes them down near the infield, the 68 of Chris, of Chris Quarter. Looking to make his way by as Wiley Wade slows way down, down the back straightaway. And the number 714. If that could potentially bring out a caution. And it looks like we're going to keep him green. I don't know if he's going to pull him to the midfield. Our 77 is passing some more lap traffic. As it looks like the 18 ends, inching so ever so slightly closer. Oh, and he gets blocked by some lap traffic. That's going to hold him up from catching your leader. And that's going to allow the 68 of Glover to close in. Oh, as a number nine of Gene Glover, he closes in on the 75 of Jeff Durant. Beating and banging through the middle of the pack right now. They're trying to all swarm around this, this lap car. Now it is a three-way battle for your, your, for your first, second, and third place position with the 77 of Herod, uh, Herod as he has some sparks coming out of that car going into turn three. The 18 of Dan Myrick and the 68 of Chris Quarter. Oh, Chris Quarter. It looks like he's almost lost in a win to the 18X. As now they are all swarming your leader. Jess Palladino, slow left traffic as a 77, your leader. He gets, he gets, he slips up coming out of four and he allows, he allows Quarter to get around. As they split your lap traffic of Jess Palladino. We have a new leader in the 68 of Quarter. Chris Quarter, your new leader. Now it's a battle for your second place position between Herod and Myrick. Moving up through the field is the 777 of Clint Massey. He's running in your fifth in the fifth place position. As once again, lap traffic slows down your second place, and it looks like possibly he might get passed in the inside by Myrick. By Dan Myrick, he passes for the second place position, but your leader has checked out from the field. And we are halfway done with this main event here. Lap traffic, splitting cars. It's chaos on the track right now. Oh, as the 777 is going to lose two positions, it looks like possible. Or no, he loses one position to the 27. Orion Dolini. And the 714 of uh, Wade, it looks like he almost stopped in turn three. Oh, the number nine, one of our heat race winners, Gene Glover, he pulled into the infield. It looks like his night's done. The 68. Coming on more lap traffic. And he has nearly a straightaway or over a straightaway lead on our second place car of Dan Myrick. And third place is a 77. That is Matt 
Parrot. And fourth is the 75 of Jeff Durant. And and fifth is the 27, uh, 27 D of Ryan Dolini. Also pulling into the field is the 33 L of Leo Lotz. His nice also is done. Six laps to go. And we have a yellow flag out. Yellow's out for the 714 of Wiley Waits. And looks like he's sitting in turn three. With how dark it is, you can't really see the numbers or kind of, you can't really see kind of that car. With, uh, I'm hearing it is seven laps to go. Gonna get them, get them set, and get them lined back up. Get set for a seven-lap shootout. And it looks like I'm hearing over the radio at the 77 of Matt Herod. Looks like he has a flat left rear tire. Yeah, and you, as you can, you can tell as the car kind of leans to the rear, he has a flat left rear tire. And they're going to give him the mechanical flag to come change the tire. As we run through the field, your leader is the 68 of Chris Quarter. Sitting in second is the 18X of Dan Myrick. In third is the 77, or was the 77, looks like in third is going to be the 27D of Ryan Dolini. Fourth is a 75 of Jeff Durant. Fifth is a 777 of Clint Massey. The 722 of Trevor Jolly. The 5S of Alan Neal. The 23 of Jess Palladino. And the 714, it looks like, uh, in the rear of the field is Wiley Wade. As it looks like the 77X of Sean DePriest is going to have to get a push off the racetrack. Looks like his night's going to be come to an end. As they double up, and it's going to be a green flag next time by with seven laps remaining. The 68 of Chris Quarter was fast in his heat race as we've seen him take the heat race win. Let's see if he can pull off the feature, the feature win tonight. As they get set, they come out of three. Going into four and green flag drops. And he bursts out to the lead once again. And it looks like, oh, the 714 of Wiley Wade is going to pull it into the infield. Looks like his night might come to a close. But grabbing that second place position is the 27D of Ryan 
Dol Dolini. And he is chasing down Glover. I'm sorry, he's chasing down Quarter, Chris Quarter. Oh, it's Porter bobbles, and that allows the 27 D to inch even closer. As these cars are moving around this racetrack tonight. Oh, as Porter slides up the racetrack once again, but he's still able to manage to hold on to the lead. The 18X of Myrick is sitting back there. Just stalking, hoping that maybe one of the two can make a mistake and he can push his way up there. As Porter once again slides up the racetrack, but it doesn't matter. King Porter, hold on to like Myrick throws it in deep. Laps to go, white flag next time by. Chris Quarter slides up to turn four. He's gonna see the white flag. Can he hold on for one more lap? And win the race. Does the 27D of Ryan Dolini have anything for him as he pushes down the back straight away? Coming to the checker flag. It's gonna be the 68 of Chris Porter for your win. In second place, it's gonna be the 2070 of Ryan Dolini. The 18X of Dan Maverick or Myrick. The 77 or the 777 of Clint Massey. And then the 75 of Jeff Durant, your unofficial top five for the feature. get down to victory lane and get an interview with our feature winner. Making my way down to victory lane. Making my way down to victory lane, Chris Quarter. Congratulations on the win tonight. Chris Quarter, congratulations on the win tonight. Uh, man, you're pretty fast. You're pulling away. You had a straightaways lead away um, from the second place car. Oh well, yeah. I, I, am I on? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 it's hard to tell how far back people are. You hear a motor going, and you think they're right on your tail, and you keep going and going and going. And then, yeah, hey, it worked out good. Yeah, the track was pretty fast. I seen you, you kind of kept sliding up the racetrack. It looks like the track was still pretty wet, but. You managed to hold off the number 27 and uh, bring home the win. Yeah, I come in kind of hard because, uh, like I said, you don't know who's behind you, so you're you're on it <laughs> until you get the corner and then you're up. But uh, the track is so much better tonight than it's been. Man, thank you guys for having us. Um, Got to thank my sponsors, man. If I couldn't do it without them. 
Yeah, uh, if you want to go ahead and uh, thank any of your sponsors and... Uh uh, TJ Performance, Trevor Jolly, he drives a blue one like this. He's my mechanic guy, does everything. Uh, Moore's Pollination Service, uh, Mike's Auto Repair, Auto World 2000, uh, CNC Towing and Recovery, CNC Wholesale, and uh, that's about it. And, and you guys for having us here. Yeah, thank you. Um, there you go, your winner and the number 68 of uh, Chris Quarter. Going back up in the booth, it looks like we have our uh, our pro stocks getting set to come out for their feature event. And that's going to do it for the four bangers. Awesome having uh, all these cars here tonight. It is a beautiful night for racing here at Antioch Speedway. Thanks for tuning in to Antioch TV. Coming up next, we have got, looking back into the staging area, we are going super stock racing. Coming up next, it's like Chris Quarter taking home another win here at Antioch Speedway. He is hard to beat around this racetrack in that 68 car. Quarter out of Modesto, California. So again, folks, that uh, four-banger race, that looked like a heck of a race. I know I had uh, a lot of fun. I did end up with engine troubles once again and had to pull in. But uh, beyond that, had a lot of fun. It looks like it was a good race. Started to make a uh, some passes when the motors are going. So thanks again to Quality Aero Maintenance and Polar Bear Rolled Ice Cream for putting up the purse tonight for the four-bangers. Um, do really appreciate it. Quality aero maintenance and polar bear rolled ice cream. Rolling out on the, onto the racetrack now. Super Sox getting ready for their main event. Joe, how'd it go all together? Uh, not too bad, I guess. Uh, it's just something you just got to get used to uh, as, as time comes. All right, here we go. There goes the radio. And start on your second row. Oh, hold on. Is he there? Okay, go ahead. Starting your second row outside is going to be the 48 out of Alamo, California. That is going to be John Evans. And to his inside, out of Antioch, California, and the number 77, that is going to be Chris Long. As you move up to the front row, out of Sacramento, California, it's a 92 car. That's Jay Bryant. And on the point, winner of our heat race and winner of a main event here about a month ago out of Brentwood, California, the 99 car, Fast Freddie Ryland. As we get set for, as we get set for our 15 lap feature for these pro stocks, your mic on. Mike, where, uh, mic on works better. Fast Freddie Ryland on the point. He is going to be tough to beat, putting him up on the front row like that. Uh, but that's the way the ball bounces, right? And getting set for a great race here. 15 laps for the Super Stocks. Tri-State Pro Stocks. Yes. All right, who's your pick on this one? Oh, yeah, our polls for the future. Um, since you picked uh, Fast Freddie, I'm going to have to go with the 92 of Jay Bryant. Going with Jay Bryant, all right. 
Fast Freddy's going to take it for Jay Bryant, or who knows? Chris Long, I'll tell you what, he gave a heck of a shot, shot that last time. Good to see him back out after that heat race uh, crash that he had. As it looks like we're going to get set to take the green flag. Bryant, Ryland on the front row. Green flag is out. And it looks like it's going to be fast. Freddy Ryland jumps out to the point with Jay Bryant sitting in second. Chris Long makes a move to third. And Fast Freddy's just mobbing around that cushion. He's going to lead lap number one. I will tell you, the racetrack is holding up beautifully right now. It's got lots of moisture in it, and it is uh, an absolutely beautiful shape out there for racing tonight for the remainder of the night. Fast Freddy Riley coming up on turn number four. At the line, he's got about a half a straightaway lead over Jay Bryant, but Bryant looked like he had a better entrance that time into turn number one. Coming up on turn number two, Fast Freddy's got the better run off the turn right now at this point in the race. Coming across the line, three down, there we go. Yes, three down, 12 to go. As you can see, Fred Riley kind of hopped and skipped a little bit through three and four. Maybe some ruts might be developing right there as he's run, as they're all running the cushion, as you can see on both ends of the racetrack. But nevertheless, Fred Riley is just ever so slightly pulling away from Jay Bryan. It looks like he has that car on the rails tonight. That's Freddy Ryland, no matter what he's driving, always a threat to win. Coming up, uh, taking over for Jim Freely in that 99 car, and that Jim Freely in the points championship run for this division as well. Up, down, up off turn number two, down the back straight away into turn number three. Fast Freddy Ryland setting a pretty line through the turn. Up off turn number four, Jay Bryant running about the same line as Freddy, and still half a straight away behind. Uh oh, Chris Long having trouble in turn number four. He catches it before he hits the wall again. Had uh, 25 of these cars two weeks ago on a special two-day show for the Tri-State Coastal on Saturday and over at Petaluma on Sunday. And a number of the cars had a they had a rough day on Sunday. Yeah, for surely. Um, it's good that we we uh, we for surely miss them. Uh, they're back on the schedule. I believe uh, in a couple weeks, so we'll see them back out here. Now Fred Ryland getting by, trying to get by some lap traffic of John Evans. As now he gets by John Evans in the uh, in the 48. Chris Long is the next one in front of Fast Friday Ryland to be putting the lap down. As Long had some trouble. Just a few laps to go, but Fast Freddy setting a blistering pace in that 99 car. Coming up off turn number four. Four laps remain in this 15-lap main event for the Superstocks here tonight at Antioch Speedway. Thanks for tuning in on Antioch Speedway TV. I'm Bobby Wong, Joe Peters. As you can see, also the number 92 machine of Jay Bryant gets around the lap car of John Evans. And it looks like now Fred Ryland's coming on the third place car of Chris Long. As he's going to get by him down the back straightaway. Or coming into turn three. Have a little. Did get around the two to go. 87 miles an hour last time. That time an 85 mile an hour last time. Lost a couple miles an hour. Trying to get around the first. Now he's got open racetrack. Jim, uh, Jay Bryant spins a turn number two. He loses. Actually, I think he's going to hold on to second place. Yeah. White flag in the air. White flag's out for the number 99 of Fred Ryland. As you said, Jay, sprint, Jay spins, and he still holds on to the second place position. Nevertheless, out of turn four, it's the 99 of Fred Ryland taking the future main event win. With it looks like the... It's going to be the number... Jay Bryant still getting second because John Evans was a lot down. Yeah, number 92 of Jay Bryant still getting second. Chris Long in the 77 third, and John Evans rounding out your top four, your unofficial finishing order. That's Freddy Ryland, Jay Bryant, Chris Long, and John Evans, your finishing order tonight for the Super Stocks. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs>
Jones going to head down for victory lane. Get a word with fast Freddie Rotlin in that 99 car. Beautiful racetrack here tonight at Antioch Speedway. Chad Chadwick and his crew have put a lot of work into the racing surface, and it shows. It is absolutely gorgeous out here tonight. Holding yeah, for surely it is. The track looks nice. Make my way down to Victory Lane. Fabulous, Bob. Thank you very much. Great job on the, the flag stand, per usual. You didn't have to throw me the black flag. Thank you very much. All right, let's send it down to Joe with Victory Lane with Fast Freddy Ryland. Fred, man, what, what a victory. Just started up front and never looked back. Yeah, it was pretty fun. I know uh, Jay had something for me in the heat race. Was he there at all in the main? Not, <laughs> not, not at all. Not I really. Didn't, I didn't think so. We made a couple changes, and it was a lot better and a lot faster in the main. Um, car's working great. I want to thank Jim Freethy for letting me drive it tonight. That's awesome. Thank Chad for uh, putting the track together and everything. And uh, thank you, Joe, for announcing tonight. Oh, yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, usually we're normally used to seeing you in the Sport Mod and the 7J. Uh, good to see you in something different, and um, looks like your talent still prevails over whatever you get inside. Yeah, thank you. I love this car. It's what I kind of started started in as a super stock like this, but this one's got some good power and good traction, and um, it's a lot of fun. Thanks. Uh, we want to thank your sponsors and who helps you um, get up and down the track. Yeah, I'd like to thank again Jim Freethy for letting me drive it tonight. Um, I'd like to thank uh, Rick's Powder Coating, All Spec Sheet Metal, and uh, my wife, first and foremost, Weir's Machine, Dirt Defender, um, probably forgetting a few, PFC Brakes, and Friesian Chevrolet, of course. Thank you. Thank you, and uh, belated birthday to uh, your wife as well. Thank you. <laughs> All right, that's Fred Ryland in the number 99 taking the uh, feature win tonight. It looks like we're going to have the Dwarf Cars up next. Get back to the box. Wiley, well, two in, two to go. Two down, two to go. Fast Freddy Rotten taking home another win here at Antioch Speedway. Getting ready. Uh, Buddy Ness is going to come back out one more time for a little bit of hot lap action. Again, trying to dial in that 19K here tonight. Getting set for next week for some big shows coming up after next week. Final points race next Saturday night here at Antioch Speedway for the IMCA Modifieds and Sport Modifieds. Final points paying event next Saturday. Working on getting a sprint car off the front straight away. And then we will get uh, Buddy Niss out there in his IMCA Modified to take a few more hot laps. So this Wednesday, it is an open practice. I will hopefully be out here with my car to uh, hopefully get that thing finally dialed in. Hoping it was just the dead battery. I forgot to put the uh, battery charger on the battery when it went back in between the hot rate or the heat race and the main event. And when they brought it out, had to get it push started. Get it started, and as it drew down the battery, it got worse and worse. So. Fairly certain uh, after they changed the plugs and stuff during the intermission. So good racing for the Super Stocks. Now we are going dwarf car racing back there. Joe, who's going to be your pick? Um, I'm going to have to... Captain Chaos, Ooh. Kenny Wagner. Can't go wrong with that choice. So if you're going to pick him, then I'm going to go to his uh, nemesis, so we say, or the guy he loves to race against. They love to race against each other. He said he learned most of what he knows from this gentleman, driver of the 24, Sean Jones.
as we're seeing once again the 14K of uh, Buddy Ness taking some laps around the racetrack, trying to break in that new car. That was just put together for, that was just put together for him. Always a nice, uh, nice young talent um, out here uh, at Antioch Speedway. Our 2019 champion looking to uh, repeat think what the points were. Going into our final event of the season. Of course, he'll be going down to uh, down to Vegas coming up in November for Duel in the Desert. I want to say congratulations to uh, all the folks. We had Carl Berenson, we had Guy Allward, um, Brett Kern. Um, Brett Kern, uh, Kern went out and and ran well. You've qualified for the main event tonight out there in Iowa, as well as uh, Scott Foster uh, went out. Um, all out to Boone. Unfortunately, the weather didn't uh, really cooperate with them, um, kind of uh, throughout the week. I know a few of them uh, headed back home. Weather in Iowa not working out. So our modifieds, Buddy Niss is in the fourth. He's 106 back, so he's not going to be able to repeat. Right now, Tricky Troy Folger on the point. 28 behind him is Jim Bennett. 41 behind him is Kellen Chadwick, as we're looking at the points for the IMCA modified. So with that, bring out the Delta Dwarf car lineup. Main event, fabulous Bob. Got a long ways to walk down here. All 21, I believe. Did are not make the call is David Michael Rosa again. Yes. And I'm just looking at Dave Rosa. Not seeing him out there either. All right, we're getting set for racing action for the IMCA. I'm sorry, the Delta Dwarf cars here at Antioch Speedway. At the back of the pack. Turn that down just a little bit. At the back of the pack for our Delta Dwarf cars. Um... It is the 38 car. That's John Tardiff. On to his inside. The 99N of Gage Myers. And in your next row in the 17, the 17 double D out of Brentwood, California, that is Jeff Betancourt. And to his, end, to his inside, and the 77N out of Auburn, California, that is John Williams. Inside the next row, our 2019 champion out of Bellico, California, the 21 Double D, Scott Dahlgren. To his inside, out of San Jose, California. I'm sorry. It is uh, out of Concord, California, the 80 Double D, Joe Tardiff. And in your sixth row, starting on the outside, out of Bay Point, California, in the 31 double D, it's Ellie Russo. And to his inside is going to be the 63, I'm sorry, I couldn't see, the 63 in of Buddy Osk. Oskovich, Oshaka, out of Tracy, California. Outside row number five, it is the 32R of Garrett Bradley. To his inside, out of Rio Vista, California, the 812 Double D, Chance Russell. And starting in your fourth row outside is the 18 Double D of Devin Cameron out of Dublin, California. And to his inside is the 88 Double D of Travis Day out of Concord, California. Outside row number three, winner here about a month ago. 
Out of Brentwood, California, it's the kid, Sean Catucci. To his inside, out of San Jose, California, the ADN, Sean Jones. And starting your second row on the outside, that's going to be the 36 double D out of Pittsburgh, California, it's Dennis Gilcrease. And to his inside, the winner of the heat race, the 4N out of Gulp, California, is going to be Ryan Winters. Winners taking home the third heat race. Then we go to the winner of the second heat race on the outside of row number one out of Bay Point, California, Captain Chaos, Danny Wagner. And on the point out of Fairfield, California, winner last time out here at Antioch Speedway and winner tonight in heat race number one, Michael Grenner. A.K.A. It's Spanky. And that's going to be your 18 car starting lineup for your 18 car starting lineup for this 25 lap feature event for the Delta Dwarf cars. Getting the cars rolled off, getting ready to go. Green flag racing here at Antioch Speedway for 25 laps of excitement. It looks like the... These cars are fun to drive. Oh, yeah, for sure. Fabulous Bob gets back to his perch high atop the flag stand here at Antioch Speedway. Thanks to all the officials on the infield. You see everybody walking around with the uh, yellow and purple shirts on. All our officials, thank you all very much. Thanks to the DNF crew. Jerry down there in the tow truck. Chuck's out there somewhere. We got to, in his Jeep. I want to say thanks to all our DNF crew. I want to say thanks to our, all our workers, all the volunteers. A lot of people volunteer. Of course, uh, Jason Robles puts in a lot of work each and every week, multiple days a week, to keep this track surface prepped and ready to go. Larry Adams, our uh, go-to guy. Thank you very much, Larry, for all you do. Lights out. We're going green flag racing here at Antioch Speedway. Joe, thank you. E running the scoreboard. Andrea running uh, the official timing and scoring. Thank you as well, Wiley Wade. And Ryan thank you. Racing and announcing. Let's put that out there. Got to say thanks to Rich down there, race director. Come wow. around, green flag this time. Here we go. Get set. Spanky hard on the gas. Coming up off turn number four. Crosses the line with about a car length over top, over in front of Danny Wagner. Here comes that 4N of uh, uh, Ryan Winter, but he falls back in line. Now the ADN, look at that, Sean Jones. He wants to get in on this action in a hurry. Leading lap one, that's going to be the 12N of Brenner. Mike Brenner sitting in second still is uh, Danny Wagner. Moving up into that third place position, I believe that is the That's Sean Jones in the third car, or third position. As you can see, they're running away from the field as well. These are four of the guys who go to a national event or a regional event. They're four of them to watch out for. Yeah. Spanky helped me uh, back when I had a fourth car back in 2007. He had to use a lot of help. Turn number four, four second place. And it looks like they are swamping Danny Wagner right now. Winters Still. and Jones. Look at that. Jones around the outside. Picks up that second spot. Here comes Wagner down on the inside. But he's got a car inside of him. That would force would be Winter. Let's not forget, Sean Jones is also in a sprint car as well here tonight. Sean Jones, winner of our regional, of the Delta North Bar regional event back in July here at Antioch Speedway with after a battle with Captain K. Oh, Danny we have Wagner. a battle brewing for the fifth. Oh, and there goes around the number, it looks like the 36. Dennis Gilbert is spinning. Yes, it's the 36. Inside of third number four, and the yellow flag is going to come out. That's only our second yellow flag of the night. Yeah. As a battle was brewing there for the fifth place position, and he just got tagged. He got tagged by the... 43, I believe, of Chance Russell. 
The A12 of Chance Russell? I'm sorry, the A12 of Chance Russell. Haven't heard over the radio yet. Official call on that. If you haven't gotten My Race Pass yet, make sure you pick up, uh, download My Race Pass. Give the starting lineups, finishing orders, all the cars that are here. Schedule, points, all that. My Race Pass. It is a free app. You can spend some money and get some extra frills and thrills, thrills and thrills. Lineup is good. So Spanky on the point. Sean Jones in the second spot. The Captain Chaos, Danny Wagner in the third spot. Ryan Winter fourth. Sean Catucci in the fifth spot. Sixth. Is going to be the Travis Day car. Seventh is Joe Tardiff. Eight looks to be, I think that's the 32 car. Kind of hard to see the number. Garrett Bradley, you know, to his outside. It is, I believe, Oshaka to his outside. Six laps in, 19 to go up on the scoreboard. Coming around for the green flag this time, Bob. Wagner oh. getting hit from behind. That was a messy restart. Let's see if that one gets called back. And it looks like it might. He's going to sit there and turn four. So another caution comes out. I think that's a no start on that one. I don't know if, if uh, Captain Chaos spun his tires or if he got hit from behind and that got him sideways. But for some reason, that car went hecka sideways. Um, as they went on the gas. That is officially being called a no start because of the craziness that just happened there. Waiting to see. He might get his spot back. I'm not sure yet. Going to the last lineup. Getting a lineup set here for a restart. So it looks like the 32 of Garrett Brady is going to end up getting his spot back. Six laps in, 19 laps to go. Working on getting that lineup set. For being smoky, it is an absolutely gorgeous night of racing here at Antioch Speedway. Thank you for turning, tuning in. To Antioch Speedway TV. Looks like our lineup Going is green good. next time by. Going green next time by. Light is out. Our leader, Michael Renner, leading them to the point as they come through turn four. They're going to see the green flag much better start this time. Spanky got to turn number one oh, first. Oh! Oh! We what have car? a rollover! Oh! Gage Myers rolls it down the front straight away. Five cars piled up at turn number two. Red flag, red flag, red flag. Driver's okay hearing over the radio. Sounds like the 80 double D of Joe Tardiff may have uh, gotten into Sean Catucci. And that's where all of this melee began. Down in turn number two right now. Taking a look, I see Ellie Russo down there. Looks like Scott Dahlgreen uh, to her outside. Get out the little cheater here. 32 cars down there. Greg Bradley sitting on the inside. Ellie Russo. Oh, no, that's Devin Cameron to her outside. Um, Buddy Olshaka involved there. The 4N, is that right? Winter sitting over there. Yep, that is Winter sitting, facing the wrong direction in turn number two. 
the 99 N of Gage Myers, that very unique colored green and yellow car. It is the one that uh, rolled multiple times. Also have trying to see it's uh, behind the Jeep here. I can't see it. I think that is Dennis Gilcrease possibly that is being pushed by the Jeep. They get Gage on his wheels. That, that, this is 80 N here. It's 80 double D. Driver is okay. Joe Tardiff started that, 80 double D, out of Concord, California. Listening to the radio. Hearing 80 double D started this, Joe Tardiff. He will get charged. So our leader right now, Spanky, sitting down on the front straightaway. Six laps in, 19 to go. That was a rough situation there. The 80 of Sean Jones in second spot. Captain Chaos, Danny Wagner in the third spot. Fourth is Ryan Winter. And fifth is the kid, Sean Catucci. But he hit the wall. He is down there in turn number four. That 99N, Gage Myers out of Placerville, California. Reader Brothers Racing, Crane Inspection Agency, and Betty's Pit Shack Girls sponsorship on that 99N. As he's getting checked out in the infield by the ambulance. All right, getting them uh, refired, getting them pulled away. So the car in front of the Jeep is done, waiting to see. That might be the 80 double D. The Jeep's blocking, I can't see the number. At one point it looked like Dennis Gilcrease in the uh, 36 car. But there is Dennis right there, so it's got to be the 80 double D. 80 double D and he is done. And of course, Joe Tardiff. Getting the lineup set, Six, uh, 19 laps to go here tonight. For the Delta Dwarf cars. Revisit our schedule real quick. Having some trouble getting one car into the pits. Something happened to the 80 car. Schedule looking ahead. We have some racing action up coming up next week. Of course, you can see it on Antioch Speedway TV. And it will be the IMCA Modifieds, IMCA Sport Modifieds, and the Jay's Mobile Welding Hobby Stocks. Next Saturday night on September 19th, that is IMCA Championship Night. The only place to see all the action is I am, or Antioch Speedway TV. AntiochSpeedway.tv is the place to be for all the racing action here at Antioch Speedway. 
everything except the Bill Bowers Memorial Race the rest of the year. Tommy Thompson tribute coming up on September 26th. It's always a fun hardtop event. It'll be joined by the Super Stocks, the Wing Sprint Cars, and the BCRA Midgets are supposed to be here on Saturday night, September 26th. Don't forget, this Wednesday we have a test and tune, open practice. If you have yourself a brand new four banger, come on out and get some uh, practice in on that. I'll be back with a better running race car. Or if you have any car, you can. Oh, yeah. Like, there's come there's out, other yeah. divisions besides four bangers, too, huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, any car. It is an open practice. On uh, October 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, it is the Bill Bowers Memorial Weekend. Practice on the 1st. Uh, Bill Bowers Memorial, night number one and night and the second, and the night number two and the third. There is the IMCA Modifieds, IMCA Sport Modifieds, and the IMCA Stock Cars making their debut here at Antioch Speedway. Looking forward to 2021. They, I, I have never seen a bad race. I haven't seen a ton of IMCA Stock Car races, but the ones I've seen have never been a bad race. They just put on a great show. Yeah, and um, already we have guys from uh, California going uh, – back uh, to the Midwest picking up race cars so it's 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 gonna grow as a class and um, even the cars that we do have out here in California uh, looking forward to ho hopefully they're gonna come up north and um, uh, come do battle with us that's gonna roll us into October 10th for the Donosauris and Larry DeVince Memorial Night it's also the Hall of Fame night so That'll be a fun night. The Hobby Stock, Super Stocks, Wing the Sprint Cars, and the Valley Four Bangers, our final event of the year. That'll be the final points race for the Valley Four Bangers on October 10th. That'll also be the final uh, points night, I believe, for the Super Stocks and the Hobby Stocks. I think all three of those are final points night. The 16th of October, the 16th and 17th, is a two day show for the Delta Dwarf Cars. Open show. Don't want to miss that. The championship night on the 17th. October 24th, the Hobby Stock Open Show. $1,000 a win for the Hobby Stock. Super Stocks are going to join them as well. That's going to be a lot of fun. October 31st, the Halloween night. Candy for the kids if they were going to be here. Um, IMC Modified, Sport Mods, Super Stocks, and Wayne of Sprint Cars will be all be in action. Uh, then we're going to take about three weeks off. Before we come back on Saturday or Friday night, November 27th, for Turkey Night Number One, don't worry about going shopping in this craziness. Just come on and watch on Antioch Speedway TV. Hobby Stock, Jay's Mobile Welding Hobby Stocks, Wing of Sprint Cars, and Wing Sprint Cars. Night two, the 28th of November. IMC Modified, IMC North, uh, Northern Sports Modified, and the Hobby Stocks, Jay's Mobile Welding Hobby Stocks, all on Saturday night, November 28th, to wrap up our 2020 crazy. COVID filled season and also uh, too for the, uh, the Thanksgiving weekends um, real possibly I heard uh, be having a Thanksgiving dinner as well oh there you go each night so uh, sweet alright we're going back to green flag race and spanky Michael Grunner or Grunner on the point on the, on the point Sean Jones in second De Captain Chaos Danny Wagner third Ryan Winter fourth and Sean Catucci fifth green flag back to you Green flag back in the air. Grinner jumps out to the lead. And look, Danny Wagner, Sean Jones down the back straightaway. Uh, still going to be Sean Jones. Going to hold on to that second place position. About turn number four, Sean Jones has it. Now he's the side of Spanky down into turn number one. Now it's a four-way battle as Ryan Winter gets involved. But he falls back. He goes down too low. Two cars get together. Scott Dahl Green and Devin Cameron. They spin over turn number two. Yellow flag back out. Yellow flag back out, and that is the two cars for the Danny Wagner's uh, race team that got together and went around. Scott Dahlgren pulled away, waiting for Devin Cameron to see if he can get that thing fired. Looks like Devin they Cameron got into uh, Scott Dahlgren's call on the radio. Got, it looks like we went one, got one lap in, still uh, 18 laps to go. And it's just a furious battle up front with the top four. This was a, I don't, were you here for the uh, regional race in July? These, uh, these were the same, the same guys racing back then, and it was the same thing for the entire main event on Saturday. 
these guys just love to race each other, have a lot of fun, and they race hard against each other. Yeah, for surely you haven't seen uh, anyone try to take out anyone or dirty slide somebody. It's just pretty clean racing. And they're just they're getting it on this track. All right, Cameron gets his rolling again. So take a look at our running order. Michael Brenner in, on the point. Second is Sean Jones in the 80 car. Third, Captain Chaos, Danny Wagner. Fourth is the 4N of Ryan Winter. Fifth is the 43 of the kid, Sean Catucci. Sixth is going to be, looks like the uh, buddy old Shaka car. I need my cheaters, I can't see. Buddy old Shaka outside of him will be the, I believe that's the 32 car, uh, Garrett Bradley. Coming around green flag this time. As they get set, green flag is out. Mike Brenner jumps out to the point again. It looks like... Brenner has oh. a little trouble coming up off turn number He's two. Slow. Sean Jones down to the inside. The captain cast right on his rear bumper. Down into turn three. Almost three wide. Wagner looked at going in between those two. They come up off turn number four. Spanky somehow still has the lead. Yeah, he holds on to that lead. It looks like he slipped up uh, coming out of turn two. Now Captain Chaos is on the outside of Jones. Once again, he slides high. He's not going to be able to make that pass for the second place position. And here comes Ryan Winters looking to take away the third place position. Battle down the back straight away into turn number three. Sean Jones has the second spot. Danny Wagner's Ryan Winters side by side for third. Wagner makes a mistake in turn number four. Give that third spot to Ryan the four and a Ryan Winters makes a move on Captain Chaos. Now he's looking to get by. Something wrong with the 11 end. Sean Jones. Captain Chaos falling back now. It looks like he just keeps sliding up the racetrack. It looks like he kind of has no grip. Trying to rely on the cushion, but he keeps sliding up. Here comes Sean Jones on your leader. Oh, they slide up. He pushes up near the wall. Sean Jones, your new leader. Ryan Winters gets by for the second place position as well. That's going to drop Mike. Mike Brenner all the way to the third place position. 13 flat, 13 to go. And like you said, they're pulling kind of from Captain Chaos. Looks like he's kind of starting to lose it possibly a little bit. Back into the hand of Swan Catucci, but up front we have uh, oh, yellow flag back out. Two cars sitting sideways in turn number two. It is the buddy old Shaka car along with Travis Day in the 88 Double D. So the 88 Travis Day spun on his own, sounds like over the radio, and that caused the uh, old Shaka to spin. Had a good battle going for your, uh, the top three cars with Grunard, Winners, and Jones all sliding and making passes on each other. Let's see if this... Uh break in action helps Wagner out any in his car. Something yeah. definitely happened on that 11 double D. Yeah, it looks like he, uh, car started to go away from him a little bit. He's still trying to rely on that cushion, but uh, all you can see is uh, Katucci is starting to close up on him. Um, nevertheless, he's still um, still in the top five, so and still 12 laps to go. Any, like I said, anything can happen. You just never know. 38 car of John Tarta, 38 Double D out of Vacaville, just left the racetrack. Oh, I'm hearing a correction. 32 of Garrett Bradley left the racetrack. Bradley out of Santa Rosa, California. Give him a couple laps. He was not the cause for the yellow, so he'll get a couple laps. But they're still getting the uh, Travis Day car on the hook over there in turn number four. A beautiful night of racing here at Antioch Speedway. Appreciate you tuning in to Antioch Speedway TV. Wish you could be here in person. 
appreciate you turning in for all the live racing action. And 32 car is on its way out, Garrett Bradley. As I believe we are just past halfway. 13 down, 12 to go. Again, these guys have a two-day show coming up in October. It is the uh, Dwarf Car Open show on the 16th and 17th of October. We'll be joined by the Wingler Sprint Cars on the Saturday night portion. And Saturday night will also be the championship night for the Dwarf Cars and the Wingless Cars. Going to give him the one-to-go signal on the front straightaway. Fabulous Bomb has the magic green flag in the air. Last green flag lap was a 15.57 second lap. That's 86.705 miles an hour for Sean Jones. Jones on the point. Second is Ryan Winters. Spanky, Mike Grenner in the third spot. Danny Wagner in the fourth spot. Sean Catucci in that fifth spot. Six, the A12 of Chance Russell. Seven is... It's like uh, Dennis Gilcrease, eighth. Looks like the 38 of John Tardiff. And to his outside, the 777 car of John Williams. Green flag back in the air. Green flag back in the air. Jones jumps off to the early lead. Looking on the high side. Back to the high side. Off turn number two gets to the outside of Ryan Winters. Oh, and he Plus slides up. up. Car got loose on the edge of the turn. He had to get out of here. Here comes Captain Chaos. He wants to get in the mix once again. Our leader, Sean Jones, carried that left front tire. Oh, Captain Chaos puts a slide job on Grunner, but he's not going to stick. That car does not handle the way it did the first few laps of this race. Start, he's starting to check out for the field, but here comes Captain Chaos once again on Mike Grunner. Oh, as Grunner gets up in the loose stuff, Captain Chaos holds on to it, and he's going to take away the third place position. Devin Carroll to get sideways and turn number one, gets collected uh, into by Dennis Gilbert. And now the 38th car spin. Also spinning was the 36 of uh, Dennis Gilcrease. Gilcrease spinning to avoid hitting. 38 and debris on the front straightaway I'm hearing on the radio. Last lap, 1543 on the stopwatch, 87.492 miles an hour. And it looks like, I believe, that uh, 60... Dennis Gilcrease leaves the racetrack. Buddy old Shaka leaving the racetrack. He had some um, some damage to the front rear, the front uh, front end of his car. We're gonna get the lineup sets. Lineup is good. Here's what we got. We got Sean Jones on the point, the 80 end. Second is Ryan Winters in the four end. Third, Captain Chaos, Danny Wagner. Fourth, the 11 Double D. Fourth is the 12 N of Michael Grenner. Fifth, the 43 of Sean Catucci. Sixth, looks to be the 80. Can't be the 80 N. What number is that? Sean 
Sean Catucci, then the 8-12, I'm sorry, of Chance Russell. He was outside. It's a 32 of uh, Garrett Bradley. Then we have the 18 of Devin Cameron. The 38, double D of John Tardiff. The 777 7 of John Williams. And it's back in the back of the 36, double D. That's Dennis Gilcrease. As a lights out, we're going to get set to go green. Eight laps remaining. Here for this feature. Green flags out. For Sean Jones. Oh, Captain Chaos slides his way into second place over Ryan Winters. Can he hold on to it? Winters jump, crosses back over, slides oh, off into he gets turn it into four. Captain they Chaos. Touch. They touch. Captain Chaos loses two spots due to that contact. Oh, Brennard. Oh, Captain Chaos hits Brennard. Winters, he hits. It looks like the 8 Chance 12 Russell of Chance Russell. Gets involved, yellow flag back out. Wow. Like a domino effect. Joe, you saw that one, I think. Go ahead and uh, tell us what happened. Yeah, it looks like uh, Matt Grunert slid up and then Captain Chaos got into the back of him. And Chance Russell got into the back of Captain Chaos. Gonna need a hook on the back of the Chance Russell car. Here in uh, the 4N of uh, Ryan Winters is being blamed for this. He's gonna be sent to the back of the back. I jinxed us, didn't I? We <laughs> hadn't had any yellows. Had been very cool, calm, and collected. Guys battling hard for the win here tonight for the Delta Dwarf cars. One more race to go after this one. We got the wingless sprint cars coming up next for another round of racing. Good racing here up front. A little, they were after it that time. Getting Chance Russell out of Rio Vista on the hook. Over there off turn number two. So our lineup is the 80 car of Sean Jones. He still has another race. He's got to hop out of that race car and get into his wingless sprint car. Second place, uh, Spanky, Michael Grenner. Third is Sean Catucci. Fourth, Captain Chaos, Danny Wagner. Fifth, the Garrett Bradley car. Sixth is Devin Cameron. Seventh, the 38 double D of John Tardiff. Eighth is the 36 double D of Dennis Gilcrease. Ninth, the 777 of John Williams out of Auburn, California. And at the back of the pack now is the 4N of Ryan Winters. Six, eight laps to go. Just heard from timing and scoring. Eight laps for Ryan Winters. I, I think he can get back up and battle for this thing. Yeah. Sean Jones put on a good race in his, in his heat race. Let's not forget that with the sprint car. And um, now since he's taken over the lead in the, in the dwarf car, I mean... They're just throwing nails and bombs at him, and he's just, he's still fending it off. And it looks like uh, lights are out, and we're going to get set to take the green flag once more with eight laps to go. Green flag is out for Sean Jones. Going into turn one, Sean Jones. A little more spread out this time. Renner second, Katucci third, but here comes Captain Chaos on the high side of Katucci. But Chaos again having trouble with the stuff with the turn. That car is just not holding. Yeah, he's he's committed up there. He's committed. Um, looks like so far it's not really working out for him, but uh, you never know. Devin Cameron gets into the top five now. After getting around the uh Bradley car. Yeah, it looks like uh Sean Jones is now trying to run away and now it's going to be a three-way battle for the second place position as Katucci gets in the mix he wants that second place position coming up off turn number two last time Danny Wagner had a good run and oh. Spanky spins right in front of Wagner they touch Sp 
Wacky. Smith to the outside after they come together. We stand to the green flag as he keeps on going. And here comes Winners. Ryan Winners. Oh, it looks like somebody's blown up. The 38 car of John Tarda having trouble. He pulls, to the, or pulls off the racetrack. What? Oh, oh Captain Chaos around. He pushes up the racetrack. They touch. Ryan Winners is in second. Oh, Ryan Winters, who started dead last in the oh. Restart, takes second, but Sean Catucci dives to the inside. They slam into each other. Catucci back in the second. Here comes winner off turn number two. Two to go. One car sitting sideways in turn number two. And that is Cam Cameron. He falls out of the top five. Two left to go. Sean Jones is literally just has a straightaway lead on the rest of the field. And Ryan Winters all the way from dead last. White flag in the air one more time around. Sean Jones down to turn number one into turn two. One car down to the inside. John Williams spins. He continues on. Ryan, or excuse me, Sean Jones is going to see the checker flag as he comes out of four. Sean Jones is going to win the Sean. feature. With second going to Ryan Winters. Third, Danny Wagner. Fourth is going to be the 43 of Dennis, or I'm sorry, of Sean, Sean Catucci. Catucci. And fifth is going to be the 32, I believe, the 32 of Garrett Brady. And that's going to be your unofficial top five. Wow, what a race. I'm going to head down and talk to him. Wow, those last few laps just got interesting with Ryan Winters coming from dead last to take second place. Sean Jones holding off the field to take the win. What a main event for the Delta Dwarf cars here tonight at Antioch Speedway where action is and there definitely was action there's some fluid down on the front straightaway here. Victor Lane. Sean getting his helmet off. Sean Jones, uh, congratulations. That was a whale of a race. Yeah, that was awesome. The track was so much fun. You could run pretty much anywhere. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, I don't know what happened to Ryan, but I think he would have had something for me. And the power steering kind of was going in and out, so I was doing some twitchy things, but I still held on, so it was awesome. I can't wait to run the sprint car race. <laughs> yeah, you got one more race here tonight, but uh, it took you a little bit. You had, to, you had to battle for this lead. You, Danny Wagner, Ryan Winters. Um, you guys just put on a whale of a show up there. Mike Grenert was involved in that as well. All four of you just running real hard the first half of that race. Yeah, they're the best out here. So running with them week in, week out, is that'll make all the other guys in the field faster if they, kept, if they keep running with us. So it's awesome to run with them, and it's always good cleaning racing, and the track is perfect tonight. So just want to thank everybody that made that happen, and we're out here racing. So You got one more to go. How are you going to do in your uh, sprint car? You were doing pretty good in your heat race. Yeah, the heat race went well. Uh, we're going to start first in the main, so only hopefully I'll just stay there, I guess. <laughs> you and uh, Danny love racing against each other. Yeah, yeah, we race hard together. We rub a lot, but it's usually pretty clean, and I think he probably had a good time. I, I think he finished third. But yeah, it, it was fun racing with him. I wasn't sure who was going to get the lead first, uh, me or Spanky, so I'm glad I got there first. <laughs> Sean Jones, winner of tonight's uh, main event for the Delta Dwarf Cards. Congratulations. I'll let you head on over and get your uh, get a picture real quick and then get into uh, your sprint car. Ryan Winter. Man, you, had to, you started dead last at the last restart. Eight to go when you finished second. Great run up through the field. Yeah, uh, I didn't drive a good race. Um, uh, I got it caught up someone spun me when I went down low on one of those restarts and uh, my rack was holding up but I thought I could hang on in the middle of the corners but obviously I didn't I tangled up a couple guys and then went to the back and then just uh, got lucky I, I hit my marks right and I got up to second and Sean was gone by that time and it was just kind of in survival mode headers are destroyed the motor wasn't running good after the headers 
got destroyed, but second, I'll take it. Nice run. You had a great battle all raced long. Uh, you guys just had a lot of fun looking like uh, with the top four there. Yeah, it was actually a really racy track. Uh, you could throw sliders, you go to the bottom, you go to the top. It was, it was, it was a really good racetrack. All right, Ryan Winter, congratulations on your second place finish. And now, Captain Chaos, you, Danny Wagner. Hey, Wagner. What happened? Something you, you were battling for the lead, and it looked like at some point about halfway through that race, suddenly your car looked like it lost its handle or something. Yeah, the car kind of went away a little bit towards the end, but we got a little mixed up and got in that wreck over there and bent the front end, but... Here we are, we finished and Sean and Ryan and these guys are really fast, so what can you expect? I know you have told me before that you absolutely love racing against Sean Jones. Oh yeah, he's the best it gets. So just to chase him, he's been doing it a long time and is really fast. And so we'll turn around and see if he can win this sprint car race. All right, so what you got uh, coming up? I know you were getting set for a big event coming up at Marysville, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, two weeks we go to uh, Marysville National, which is the biggest Western States national of them all. So uh, we'll put the cars away for a week or two and get ready for Marysville next in two weeks. And then after Marysville in October, you got a special two-day show coming up here at Antioch Speedway, the uh, D uh, Dwarf Car Open. Yeah, we'll be back for the uh, Dwarf Car Mania in October. I think it's like 16th, 17th. 17th and 18th, yeah. 17th and 18th, yeah. So we'll be back here for that. And we got a couple other big ones. We got a Twin 20 race in Petaluma on the 10th. And we'll be kind of bouncing around. And then we end up in Mojave in November. All right, Danny Wagner, Captain Chaos. Uh, I would say the first year of the Delta Dwarf Cars has been a success. Yeah, it is a success, and hopefully next year all we can do is make it bigger and better. Have a big national race here. I want to make it bigger than Marysville, but we're going to go to the biggest one in two weeks and try to make this one bigger next year. All right, Danny Wagner, congratulations. Good run tonight. Thank you. All right, that's going to do it for our victory lane and uh, podium finishers for the Delta Dwarf Cars. Now we're getting set to go. Sprint car racing, that's right. We're going wingless sprint car racing, our final race of the night. All right, thank you, Wiley, for that interview. Um, congratulations to Sean Jones on your main event feature win as he gets set to hop into his sprint car now and see if he can double up tonight. As we get set for the, our last feature event, 25 laps for our wingless spec sprints. All right, Joe, I just have to point out that uh, I picked him to win that last race. Just saying. Gives me a point for tonight, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think you're what? I think two for two. Uh, yeah, two for two for tonight. I missed the first one. I picked myself to win the four bringers. Came up a wee bit short. All right, we're getting set for wingless sprint car action. Catch my breath here real quick. Our, push them off, so starting at the back of the pack. And our seventh row, starting on the uh, inside, seventh row, out of Brentwood, California. I'm sorry, the outside in seventh row, out of Brentwood, California, in the 92A. That is going to be Jeff Scotto. And to his inside, in the 87, out of Pittsburgh, California, normally driving his hobby stock here, but he's in a sprint car tonight, is James Thompson. James looking to take on the championship in that uh, Jay's Mobile Welding Hobby Stock Division. Um, in row number six to the outside out of Antioch, California, Patricia Fisher, Rick McCaws, sponsorship number 21 on Roy Fisher. On the inside of the sixth row in that 11th starting spot, it is a two car out of Norm's Auto and Machine, Jerry Caesar Enterprises 2 of Kevin Box, who lives on the Delta. In your fifth row on the outside in the 48 out of Vallejo, California, uh, that is going to be Troy Ferry. And to his inside, 
in the 77 out of Concord, California. That is going to be Ryan Silverling. In the eighth starting spot on the outside of the fourth row, the 50 car. Out of Santa Rosa, California, TNK Mobile sponsorship on the 50 of Tony Bernard to his inside. In the seventh starting spot. Out of Vacaville, California, 11 Bravo Motor, Motor, yeah, let me try that again. 11 Bravo Motorsports, COE Performance, and Atomic Design sponsored 11B of Alan Miranda. And in your third row on the outside is going to be uh, Dylan Bloomfield in the 33. And to his inside is going to be the 3F out of Gold, California. That's going to be Matt Streeter. In the second row on the outside. It is out of Oakley, out of the Air One Heating and Air Conditioning in Oakland Collision Center, sponsored number 36 of Bob Newberry to his inside. Out of Morgan Hill, California, the 1C, that's Jimmy Christian. And on your front row outside is the 33 DJ. That is going to be DJ Johnson out of Stockton, California. And on the pole is a 24, just won his dwarf car main event. Out of San Jose, California, is going to be Sean Jones. So, Sean Jones, winner of heat race number one. DJ Johnson, winner of heat race number two. Johnson, winner last time out here at Antioch Speedway. Jones uh, just rolling out on the racetrack after getting back into the pits to uh, switch race cars. So, 25-lap main event. Who's your pick? I picked first last time. You get to pick first this time. Uh, let's see. I said uh, Dylan Bloomfield, and um, I'm going to stick with him. You're going to stick with Dylan Bloomfield. All right. Well, this is tough, that front row. You're going to take Bloomfield. That means I'm either going to take the DJ or Sean Jones. And I'm going to say I'm tempted to take Sean Jones for two and doubling it up tonight. But you want to know what? I can't go wrong with uh, DJ Johnson. He is just running way too strong. DJ Johnson to my pick. So we're picking the 33. It's DJ Johnson for me and Dylan Bloomfield for you. Cannot go wrong with those picks. They are definitely going to be strong contenders, along with Bob Newberry. Sean Jones in that 24 car. I'm really tempted. He's, he's my reserve pick. How's that? Can I have a reserve pick? <laughs> is that cheating? Yeah, as you can say, anything can happen. We've seen the last time um, with um, with DJ Johnson coming from literally uh, I dead last last row and um, winning in dramatic fashion. But the lights are out, getting set to go green. Sean Jones, DJ Johnson on the front row, 25 laps. What could go wrong? Green flag drops. Tom Jones down to turn number four, one first, but here comes DJ Johnson on the high side. He gets some great speed. Split Jones. We have Bob Newberry on the high side, and I believe that was Oh, Newberry, oh, Newberry hits the wall. Hits the wall. He's going to tip over. over. On his lid. Flag, red flag is out. And it looks like he hopped the tire, I believe, of the... Jimmy Christensen and it tipped him and it put him over on his on his lid. Driver's okay hearing over the radio. Driver is okay. He's sitting upside down. Um, yeah, I just and that forced him up the hill and just got caught in that uh, into the wall. Ended up hopping uh, Jimmy Christensen and the one sees uh, uh, right rear tire. So Jimmy Christensen and the one C. Involved in that. Um, have to get him lined up, pushed off here momentarily. Got that car on all four wheels. All right, hearing over the radio that he just got up over the cushion and pushed him up into the fence. I knew he was, he was close to uh, Jimmy Christian. Getting him on the hook. (laughs) 
Thanks for tuning in again, ladies and gentlemen. Again, watch, uh, watch our Facebook at Antioch Speedway by Promotions, Antioch Speedway by Promotions. Um, if you have not gone over there and liked and followed, do that, please. Also, AntiochSpeedway.tv on Facebook. Head on over there, follow that. And, of course, Antioch Speedway announcer, that would be me. Um, get over there and like uh, Antioch Speedway announcer on Facebook and on YouTube. That's where on Wednesday nights at 7 o'clock I release the Wiley's Race Report, unless something weird happens. So we did not get a lap in. We will go complete restart coming up in just a little bit. Thanks again for tuning in. Thanks to our sponsors. Here we got Katrina Niss Photography for the photographer, or the pictures you see up on the website and on uh, Facebook, TBX Graphics. Gets our really cool, we don't have trophies or plaques, we have miniature race car door cards that the uh, TBX Graphics wraps. These things are just very cool for our feature winners. Also want to say thanks to Pro Motorsports over there in Oakley. And Polar Bear Rolled Ice Cream. Again, thanks to them and Quality Aero Maintenance for sponsoring the Four Bangers here tonight. If you're in the mood for some ice cream, head on over to 2581 Main Street in Oakley and get yourself some Polar Bear Rolled Ice Cream. Yum. Also want to say thanks to Jay's Mobile Welding and Fabrication. They're up there in Sacramento. They are the sponsor of the Hobby Stock Division. Um, sponsor of the IMCA Stock Cars. Want to say thanks. One Hour Drain, the plumber, the plumbing router specialist. New sponsor for us here at Antioch Speedway. Down there in San Jose, One Hour Drain. Thank you very much for stepping up and sponsoring the IMCA Stock Cars. Very special thanks to Rick and Farron Stites Diaz. Stites Towing. Um, out down in Los Banos, they sponsored the uh, Sites Freedom Series, the Big Kahuna Sites Freedom Series, three race series here this weekend or this year at the Memorial Weekend, Fourth of July, and Labor Day weekend. Also, want to say thanks to Delta Transmission, uh, the Nissan family. Special thanks to them over there at 1105 Sunset Drive in Antioch, California. Delta Transmission, foreign and domestic, standard and auto. Rear differentials, transfer cases, all at Delta Transmission. Thank you very much. And thank you, fans, for tuning in each week on Antioch Speedway TV. This is a new adventure. We're getting better, hopefully, each and every week. We still have more equipment on the way. We're still having more capabilities that will be coming. And hope you keep tuning in and enjoying Antioch Speedway TV. All right, Joe, if that's any indication of what's going to happen in this main event, I keep looking to see if the full moon's up there somewhere. I can't see the moon. So. Yeah, it's uh, pretty smoky, but uh, hey, it's, I think it's going to be a wild one. Get the cars pushed off. If you've been here before, the uh, Wingless Sprint Cars used to have starters this year that we went to the rules that the uh, other tracks in the area. The California have, and so they no longer have starters on these cars. So they do have to be pushed off. Please restart. So Sean, Sean Jones, DJ Johnson will be on the front row. Jimmy Christian and Bob uh, Newberry will not be on the outside the front row. Have to go back to the pitch after flipping in turn number four. So that'll move Dylan Bloomfield up to that fourth starting spot. Matt Streeter will start inside the third row. Tony Bernard to his outside. Alan Miranda in the fourth row with Troy Ferry. Ryan Silverling inside the fifth row. And outside him, Roy Fisher. At sixth row. Inside Kevin Box. Outside Jeff Scotto. And at the back of the pack, the 87 of James Thompson. Making his wingless sprint car debut. Having a little fun. In the 87 car. 25 laps is the distance for this main event. We didn't, did not get one in on that initial start, so... It is a complete restart, any re or a complete start, any restart. There's another yellow flag after we get a lap in. Will be single file. 
Lights out, going green flag racing this time by. Sean Jones has control of the field. DJ Johnson to his outside. Let's see if Sean Jones has anything for him this time. Have you seen DJ Johnson get out to the point? That car works well on the high side. It does. That green flag rocks. Once again, it's going to be DJ Johnson. Here comes Dylan Bluefield Bluefield into the, to the third, third place position. Sean Jones pushes up the hill, gets up over the cushion just a little bit. Into Oh, and it looks like the one C of Jimmy Christian, Chris, Kristen. Sean Jones, he was right on the rear bumper going down the front straightaway. Yeah, they're all racing. One yellow pushing. flag is out. Car sitting sideways in turn number one. I believe Boy, that is out. Troy Ferry. Yeah. 48 car. Here on over the radio, spun all on his own. 48 car of Troy Ferry bringing out yellow flag, two laps in. Get him pushed off. Get him lined back up again. Single stop. All right, now we have a restart, so it'll be single file. There'll be an orange cone on the front straightaway below Fabulous Bob. That is your restart cone. You cannot pull out the pass or go below that cone. If you do, you are penalized two positions at the next flag. That's a no-go zone down below that. Don't hit it. Don't go below it. Sean Jones, that first lap, DJ Johnson, got spread it out just a little bit, but Sean Jones is starting to reel him in on that second lap. Yeah, and then the kid, uh, Dylan Bloomfield, from uh, his sixth place starting position, has jumped up into the third place position now. Bloomfield led most of the race last time out and then uh, started to lose the motor on a, on a restart. DJ got out in front of him and then he blew up. Just a couple laps to go. As getting over the, the word as lights out, we get set to go green, I believe. Coming around green flag this time by 23 laps remain in this 25 lap main event. Green flag in the air. Green flag in the air once again. DJ Johnson jumps out to the point. Sean Jones. Oh, and it looks like the Streeter had a little trouble coming up off turn number two. Yeah, and he slid up across uh, Jimmy Crit uh, Christian. But he's going to inherit the fourth place position. This and racetrack is not slowed down any at all. No. It it still has a lot of moisture throughout the night as they're all just rim riding on that cushion. 1446 on the stopwatch, 93.361 miles an hour. He is starting to pull away again. Yeah, he's starting to pull away. As you see, Dylan. Oh, Sean, Sean Jones up over the cushion a little bit, and that's going to allow Bloomfield to catch him. It looks like Streeter is really catching. Bloomfield for that third place position. Oh, and our leader! Our leader gets caught by lap traffic. Not sure if he just spun to avoid hitting. I believe that's a 48 car again. Troy Fair. As well as our fourth place or third place position. Or I'm sorry, our fourth place car of Streeter also spins in the center of turn three and four. So DJ Johnson does get his spot back. Yeah, spun to avoid plowing into. It is a 48 car, so that's the second one on him. So he'll be done for the night. Troy Ferry is done. So Jones will be in second, Dylan Bloomfield in third. Streeter should get his spot back as well. Now put him in fourth and Jimmy Christian in that fist bomb. All the way up from Morgan Hill. I want to say thanks to the uh, Central Valley mini stock drivers that came up and participated in tonight's four banger event. 
put on a good show. Got to show people what these four bangers can do. Again, if you're looking for a four banger, let me know. Reach out to me. I will help you out. Uh, I did get a, asked uh, earlier this week if I knew of any. I don't know of any at the moment, but I am gathering information. Um, Recontact me again. I do know of a couple people that are going to start building them if you're looking to have one built for you. Um, if you have a four banger, four cylinder car that meets the rules and uh, it's not hard to uh, make it into a four banger race car and go out and have a lot of fun. All right, DJ Johnson will not get his spot back. He's got to go to the work area and get a tire changed. So that will prevent that. Get him pushed off, go to the work area, and get it a new tar on that thing. Man, just so much unfortunate events. With only five laps in, 20 laps to go, still a lot can happen. As our new leader, Sean Jones, inherits the lead. And now that puts the kid, Dylan Bloomfield, in the second place position. So here's what I'm going to say, though. This is going to make it fun to see DJ Johnson come up through the field. There's a lot of laps, a lot of laps, and if anybody can do it, for surely he can. Last race, he started out back and won the race. That took that race was 20 laps. We have 20 laps left up on the board. All right, so our running order looks like this: Sean Jones on the point, Dylan Bloomfield second, Matt Streeter in the third spot, fourth is going to be Jimmy Christian, fifth will be. Looks like uh, da, 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 Ryan, <coughs> excuse me, Ryan Silverling. Sixth is Alan Miranda. Seventh, I believe that's the 50 car of Tony Bernard. Get my cheater out. Ninth is Kevin Box in the two car. Tenth is Roy Fisher in the 21. Eleventh is James Thompson. Twelfth going to be Jeff Scotto in the 92A. That's your running order. Uh, DJ Johnson will come out. In the 13th spot. DJ Johnson not going to make it out. It is broke. Can I go to my backup pick? Oh, that's right. That was your pick. <laughs> Oh, man. All right, coming around, giving the one-to-go signal this time by. Don't forget, next Saturday, we're going racing to the IMC Modifieds, IMCA Sport Modifieds, and the Jays Mobile Welding Hobby Stocks. So all next Saturday night, it is IMCA Championship Night. Good Last thing you didn't put all your night. chips in for that one, right? Yeah, huh? Jeez. Maybe I was bad luck on that with DJ. All right. All right, still uh, quite a ways to go, 20 laps. As you can see, uh, anything can happen. That would have been fun to watch. But here we go. Get set to go. Lights are out. We're going to try this one more time. Green flag is out for Sean Jones. Jones down the front straight away to turn number one using that high line. Dylan Bloomfield staying high, but Matt Streeter went low. Tried to do a slide job, but not able to get out in front of Bloomfield. No, but it's going to be Jones, Bloomfield, and Streeter. Battle for fifth or fourth right now. Uh, Jimmy Christian has it. Alan Miranda's battling to try to get it. Oh, is Ryan Silverling. James Thompson is around in the center of turns one and two, and he's going to bring out the yellow. Thompson getting his first experience spinning in a sprint car. If you're looking for something to do, check out Wiley's Race Report on uh, Antioch Speedway by Promotions Facebook, AntiochSpeedway.com, Antioch Speedway announcer. Comes out every Wednesday night. An interview. This week's going to be a little different. Um, I will have it out on Wednesday night. It's typically at 7 o'clock is my goal. worth uh, interviews and stuff. I'm uh, up to episode 
30, I think, will be this upcoming week. So we've got 29 other episodes this year um, that you can go back and watch. Got some cool, cool interviews with a lot of different people. Go back and watch. It's the last one with Mark Garner. Talking about his dad, Jerry, a lot. A week before that, interviewed myself. That was quite interesting. I do my pit walks. I missed my pit walk this week. It's a crazy week this week. I forgot to do my pit walk. I'll make up for it next week. <laughs> a double pit walk. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, still 19 laps to go, and it looks like uh, lights out. Green flag drops for Sean Jones one more time. Uh, Streeter tries to throw it in. Still not going to be able to get by Dylan Bloomfield. Streeter did that uh, same move last restart. Oh, one car spins around. That would be uh, James Thompson again. He will be done for the night. James Thompson's night comes to an end with his second spin. So what's the promoter do? Whatever needs to be done. Chat running the uh, orange cone down on the front straightaway for tonight. Chad and Tina Chadwick. Especially for having the COVID deal we have going on, they are having a successful year, first year of promoting. Talk about getting thrown into the deep end of the pool when it comes to promoting. You know, normally you're thinking, all right, we're going to start promoting a racetrack. We'll have fans in the stands. It's going to just be all normal, and we'll know what to do. And yeah, welcome to promoting. No, st no fans in the stands. COVID yeah. craziness. Yeah, I mean it's. Um I'm pretty sure it's for surely tough, um, but uh, as uh, as we see, we're one of the one of uh, the only tracks that are racing uh, up north here, um, or I should say, even in California. And um, I mean, like I said, congrats to Chad and Tina for just um, allowing um, this to keep going on. Yeah, they're putting in, uh, coming up with all different ways they can to keep this place up and running, and. Antioch Speedway TV is the, one of the latest things going on, of course. It was not something I guarantee that they thought they were going to be getting into, having a TV network uh, for their racing when they got into this deal this year. Mr. Thompson, James, time to leave the racetrack, sir. A valiant effort. Uh, first time out in a sprint car after running only Hobby Socks. He's one of the ones... He will be one that is looking at moving up uh, maybe next year, maybe the year after, uh, looking at the IMCA stock cars, I believe. One to go. Before we go back to green flag racing, 19 laps in the race left. Fabulous Bob with the green magic green flag in the air. Got uh, Sean Jones on the point. Dylan Bloomfield second. Matt Streeter in the third spot. Jeff, uh, Jimmy Christian in the fourth spot. Alan Miranda in that fifth spot. Ryan Silverling, sixth, seventh. Tony Bernard, eighth. He is Kevin Box, ninth. Roy Fisher, and tenth. Jeff Scotto. Green flag in the air down the front straightaway. Green flag in the air. Sean Jones throws it in. Oh, Streeter. Oh, he gets Bloomfield. Bloomfield had to get out of the gas that time. He died, crosses over, goes back underneath Streeter, trying to do a slide job. And he's going to get the position back, and he's going to take second place away from Streeter. Here comes the 11 of, 11B of Miranda. He gets around Streeter down on that low side. Now he sets his sights on the 33 of Dylan Bloomfield. Into turn number three. Up off turn number four goes our leader. Yeah, there's Once, now Miranda loses the third spot to Streeter. There's all kind of distinct lines on the racetrack right now. As you can see, the inside working for Miranda, but the outside is also working for Streeter as Dylan Bluefield slightly just jumps the cushion a little bit. And that's just going to allow Sean Jones to get to even a further gap. One car spins around in turn number two. Yellow, yellow, that, yellow. That is the 50 of Tony Bernard. 
Yellow flag is out for Tony Bernard, spinning at tier number four, all on his own. Bernard out of Santa Rosa, California. Getting the lineup set, going to put uh, Jimmy Christian in front of Alan Miranda. So our running order right now, 24. Uh, Sean Jones, followed by Dylan Bloomfield, Matt Streeter, Jimmy Christian, Alan Miranda, Kevin Box, Roy, uh, Ryan Silverling, Roy Fisher, and Jeff Scotto. And then coming up, Tony Bernard gets up and running again. He'll be at the back of the pack. 16 laps remain. Magic green flag in here. We're going to go green flag racing next time, Bob. Nine laps in, 16 laps to go. Still, still quite a quite a ways to go for for this feature. A lot of great racing action. Sean Jones kind of up there by himself, but the uh, battle for second and third. Dylan Bloomfield, Matt Streeter, um, Alan Miranda was up there in that. Jimmy Christian. Yeah. Well, that's the thing with the with the battle going on between those two. As the green flag drops for Sean Jones, Streeter once again goes low underneath Bloomfield. And this time it is not going to work as Dylan Bloomfield shoots out. And he wants to chase down Sean Jones. He's Streeter's twenty five percent for that move. He's been working once and he's failed three times. One part Jimmy Christensen he slows on the outside Christian. of turn four. Yellow flag back out for Jimmy Christian. Looks like down the back straightaway, he just did not have the pace as the rest of the field did, and he started to slow down. All right, 15 to go up on the scoreboard. Got open practice coming up this Wednesday. If you have a race car and you want to come practice Wednesday night, 5 to 9 p.m. is the time to be here. Get some laps in. Got to say thanks to Jason Robles and all the guys at uh, take care of the racetrack because that takes a lot of extra work especially having that midweek deal oh yeah for surely and um i mean man the track looks fantastic right now lights out going green flag racing this time by sean jones again on the point green flag in the air jones gets a good run up on turn number four streeter once again goes down to the low side tries to do a slide job on dylan bloomfield nope. strike number five or four as dylan bloomfield inches closer to sean jones No, not Dylan this time. Bloomfield running into wheel tracks. Bloomfield had a little bit of trouble coming up off turn number two. Oh, yeah. A little trouble on turn four that time. That's why Sean Jones pull out just a little bit. And that allows Streeter to get just so slightly inching and inching towards him. Streeter now running into wheel tracks to Bloomfield. Oh, Sean Jones gets all the way up near the wall. Winner may come down to who makes the last mistake. Oh, Dylan nice Bloomfield. Slide by Streeter. It's uh, on Bloomfield. Bloomfield back on the inside. Does a slide job back to Streeter. Oh. Bloomfield up over the cushion and turn four opens up the door. Streeter back into the second And he's going to throw in another one. Oh, they both bang the cushion. They drag down the back straightaway. Oh, Bloomfield had a good run off turn number two that time. He stayed out in front of uh, Streeter. And it's going to do so again on turn number four. Give Dylan Bloomfield that second back that second spot. Man, this is an exciting race for your second place position as they slip and slide each other for that for a second place position. Dylan Bloomfield holding on to it. So 
Matt Streeter, your leader. Dylan Bloomfield, second. Uh, Matt, I'm sorry. Said there. Sean Jones, our leader. Dylan Bloomfield, second. Matt Streeter, third. Fourth. Right now, Ryan Silverlake. But here comes Alan Miranda. He's at the fifth spot. Sixth. Roy Fisher, seventh. Is I believe that is the uh, Tony Bernard car. Eighth. We got two cars in the same number. Kevin Moxes. Seventh, eighth, Tony Bernard, and ninth is Jeff Scott. And with them uh, battling, that allows Sean Jones to just push out a further and further lead over the two. Jones going into turn number three. Bloomfield is about halfway down the back straightaway. He's got about half a straightaway lead right now. Coming across the line, seven laps remain in this 25 lap main event. Six up, sorry, just went down to six. Battle for second just backed off a little bit. Philip Bluefield has about two or three car lanes over Streeter. As you can see, they're all, the top three cars are really just running that cushion. They have lost time. It is down to 15.66 up the top of watch. 86.207 miles an hour. They've lost about eight miles an hour, nine miles an hour over earlier. With four laps left for Sean Jones, can he double it up with the features tonight? As you see, he wins. He won his dwarf car feature. Now looking to take home his uh, wingless sprint feature, possibly with three laps remaining. I knew I should have picked it. I talked. He was my backup. He was my reserve. Pick. As he comes on lap traffic, lap traffic kind of in his way, running his line. Two to go this time by Sean Jones, Neil Bluefield, Matt Streeter. Ryan Silverling up to the fourth spot. Roy Fisher in the fifth spot. Coming to the white flag is going to be Sean Jones in the 24. One more it's time around. Second is still Dylan Bloomfield. And third is the three. The three F of Matt Streeter. Coming to the checker flag, coming out of turn four. Your winner is going to be Sean Jones. And second is going to be the 33 of Dylan Bloomfield, Matt Streeter in the three. And fifth is going to be the 77 of Ryan, of Ryan Silverling. It's a four spot in fifth, Roy Fisher. Nice run by Fisher. Is that going to round out your unofficial top five? Not head down to victory lane for one last interview for the night. Sean Jones inheriting the lead. On lap 23, had never looked back. Doubling up tonight, winning his dwarf car, and now the sprint feature tonight, Sean Jones. Waiting for a push truck to get uh, Sean Jones. Victory lane. Thanks again, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in to Antioch Speedway TV. Can't wait to have you back here at the racetrack. Car being pushed in. Sean Jones climbing out of his sprint car. Woo. Taking the helmet off. Hey, seems like we did this earlier already. Yeah, this never gets old, so I, I'll keep seeing you as many times as I can. <laughs> so you took the, the lead around lap number three and then it didn't have a whole lot of pressure once you got, the, got out on a point. Yeah, I wasn't sure how close he was behind me. The track changed so much, and I was just trying to, trying to search, not really search, but just try to hit the marks and kind of just judge what the track, had, how much grip it had for, for the right rear. And I was hoping the right rear was still there at the end of this thing. And that sucks for DJ. He was going to be really hard to beat, and he got tangled up in that lap traffic. So 
I, I would like to see what happened if we could race together. He was, he was really fast at the beginning. And I was hoping he was at least going to make it back out. It would have been fun to watch him run up through, but uh, you were able to hold off. You had Dylan Bloomfield uh, behind you, the 14-year-old. He uh, tried to get a shot at you a couple times, but couldn't quite get there. Yeah, I saw him. He, he kind of peeked his nose in there a little bit, and that kid's so damn fast. You know, he doesn't have any experience really in these spec sprints, and he's right there with me, and, you know, I've been around for a little bit. So, <laughs> yeah, he's got... Thankfully, I think he's not going to stick around at spec sprints too, too much longer because he's just going to go flying and get wing sprint car rides and all kinds of fun stuff. So he's a great driver, very clean. It's uh, very impressive to see what he can do. So. Who do you want? Thanks for uh, getting you out here each and every time you come out. My mom, always. She, can't be here, she couldn't be here tonight. Uh, and all my family and my dad came out, and he always helps me out with the sprint car. And, you know, it's a team, team thing. You can't just go out here and do this on your own. So uh, DRI, he does the shocks, Ryan Diotti. Uh Yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, Sean Jones, winner of tonight's Sorry. Delta Dwarf Car event and the wingless sprint car event. Congratulations. Let's head on over here to uh, Dylan Bloomfield. Hey, Dylan. Dylan? Come on out here real quick. Get you on camera. Finishing second tonight's uh, main event. So last time out, you led most of the race and then lost a the motor. You came out last week, tested your motor, got a new motor in that thing, uh, and a good, strong second place finish tonight. Yeah, uh, Sean Jones was way out there, and he was fastest tonight. And um, I think at the end there, I think we might have been losing a motor or something again. Uh, something's wrong. Uh, seemed like it was slowing down going down the straightaways and we got a lot of temperature in the motor so something's wrong there but uh i can't thank my team enough man they've helped me out so much and uh they're always uh, out until midnight working on my car and uh it's pretty awesome i can't thank them enough and all my sponsors i mean uh it's it's awesome just also also be at 14 and being second place and winning and all this stuff and it's awesome other than your blown motor, you haven't finished worse than sixth in your sprint car career. Yep, yep. Uh, and I think if, other than the blown motor, you haven't finished worse than fourth here at Antioch Speedway, if I remember correctly. Yeah, probably. I think so. I think you're right. Yeah. So, great job. So, you at uh, the e end of the race there, you were having a heck of a battle with Matt Streeter in the 3F. Yeah, we were. That was fun. Uh, he, he threw some crazy sliders. I threw some crazy sliders right back at him. And... I love when we clean race. I mean, it's pretty awesome, especially Matt, racing with Matt Streeter. It's pretty cool. So, Dylan, who do you want to thank for getting you, getting you out here each and every week? Air One, my mom, my dad, Willie, Sue, Jerry Stitch, um, Ralph Day, East Bay Meal Prep, um, my grandpa, Napa Auto Parts, Casey's Auto Body, K1, just everyone that helps me out, I really appreciate it. Dylan Bloomfield finishing second tonight in tonight's Wingless Sprint Car main event. Congratulations. Thank you. Good job, kid. All right, Matt Streeter. How's it going? Good. Strong third place finish. Um, heck of a battle there at the end. You and Dylan Bloomfield slide jobbing each other. Left, or once at the south end of the racetrack, then another one at the north end of the racetrack. It was a good uh, job with him. He does. A, he's a nice, smooth, clean racer. He's trying to get a little. If I get ahead of him on restart, I might be able to stay ahead of him. But that didn't work like that. But just hats off to him and hats off to the winner. It was a good show for everybody. That was one thing I saw you doing on the restarts. You were going down to turn number one and and going real low, trying to do a slide job on him. It just couldn't couldn't get in front of him when you were doing that on the uh, initial on the restarts. Yeah, I just wasn't timing him correctly. I'm a little rusty, but. Uh, at least we held on to finish. Um, but just if I timed a little better, it would have been, I could have executed a little better, but it's all part of getting some more laps. I want to just thank uh, the car owner, Ted Finkenbeiner, for letting me drive it, and all my crew guys, Bobby and Brian and Vinny and Ed and everybody else, and my girlfriend was here to see, so it was a good time. Matt Strader, congratulations on a strong third place finish. Thank you. I appreciate you guys putting the show on. It was a hell of a racetrack. All right, look forward to having you back. And with that, let's swing on over here. Where's he at? Chad Chadwick. Let's get a, before we uh, sign off, let's get Chad here. Hey, Chad, can we get a word with you out here? What'd they say? I'll be fine. It's not broken. Oh, okay, okay. 
Good to get Chad to come out where we can get him on camera with the, up there in the tent. So, Chad, another successful night of racing here at Antioch Speedway. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just, I just wish we could get some more sprint cars out here. I don't know what the deal is, why the sprint cars aren't showing up. I mean, we got a smooth track. We got an excellent racing surface. And I don't know. We'll figure it out, I guess. We'll get them out here. They see races like we had tonight. It will... Uh, Definitely help that as well. What do you got coming up that you want to talk about? We've got a big show coming up here in a couple yes, weeks. Yes, October uh, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, we have the Bill Bowers Memorial. The uh, A mods uh, pay 5000 to win. The Sport mods pay 2500 to win. And we're going to bring in stock cars. And uh, One Hour Drain is uh, putting up a sponsorship for that. For uh, uh, the stock cars, it's going to pay 1000 to win each night. So the IMCA stock cars, something that we announced earlier this season that will be joining the, uh, the track here next year for the 2021 season. We're going to make them, uh, give them a debut early. Yeah, no, we are. We want to, I want to try and get them out here, get, it, get everyone uh, 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 familiar with them, and, and I think it's going to be a really good class. IMCA is, is excited about it. We're excited about it, and I think, it, uh, I think it's going to turn out to be a really good deal. And we still have lots of racing, and we're not even close to being done with this season yet. No, we do. We have, uh, we're going to have a hobby stock open show. Um, I'm not sure on the date. Uh, we're going to have a, uh, the Tri-State, uh, the uh, Al Miller Memorial on uh, Halloween, the 31st of October. We're having a, a kids deal on uh, Halloween also, where we're going to try and bring in some jumpies and faints painting and, and stuff and give out candy since I don't think they're going to be able to go trick-or-treating. So we're, we'll try and do something here for them. And then, of course, we got the uh, the week before that is when the uh, the Hobby Stock Open is. Before that, we have a two-day show for the Delta Dwarf Cars. Yep, we're doing an open show for the Delta Dwarf Cars. And uh, we're doing uh, Thanksgiving, the turkey race uh, Thanksgiving. I think we're going to have... Uh, we're going to do 360 sprint cars and non-wing sprint cars and uh, hobbies on the first night. And then we're going to do A mods and sport mods and hobbies on the second night. So that's going to be Thanksgiving weekend. That's going to be a lot of fun. And then, of course, uh, at the weekend after the big uh, Bill Bowers Memorial, we have the Larry, De uh, the Donna Sorry's Larry DeMintz Hall of Fame night. Yes, we do. We have that also. So we, we got a lot of stuff still, to, still ahead, a lot of stuff coming. And there's going to next year is going to be hopefully bigger and a lot better. And fans in the stands and next year. And fans in the stands because I, I don't think that's happening this year. Chad Chadwick, thank you very much. You're putting on a great show here each and every week. This track has just been unbelievable lately. Thank you. Chad Chadwick, new promoter here at Antioch Speedway. Thank you very much. Him and Tina Chadwick. And wow, what a night of racing. Joe, the absolutely amazing racing here tonight for another exciting, fun-filled evening of racing at Antioch. Yeah, for sure. Um, it was great. Uh, really, uh, with uh, Sean Jones taking uh, both features for uh, the sprint cars and the dwarf cars. And then uh, also Fred Ryland uh, winning in. Uh, normally, we used to see him in, in his sport mod. Um, and uh, Jim Freely's uh, 99 um, Pro Stock. And, um, yeah, some, some, some good feature racing tonight. And um, looking forward to, once again, being back next week. And congratulations, Chris Corder, winner of the Four Banger Division uh, main event here tonight. Again, folks, if you're looking to get into racing, I'm, uh, I'm pushing the Four Banger Division. It's a great division. Let me know. Reach out to me on Facebook. Um, send an email at AntiochSpeedwayAnnouncer at gmail.com, and I'll help you get hooked up with somebody. I'm working with uh, people. We've got Fast Friday Ryland, got uh, Trevor Clemens. I believe said he'll start building some, may have some others that uh, can build some as well. We have some uh, people looking for some that are for sale. We'll help reach out and help find stuff, but uh, we want to get four bangers. We had a great show here tonight with 13 cars. Um, look forward to having many more nights like that next year here. we got only one race left in the four bangers. That's okay. But next weekend, we're going racing. Joe, we got the IMCA Modifieds, IMCA Sport Modifieds, and Jay's, uh, Jay's Mobile Welding Hobby Stocks coming next weekend. Yeah, for sure. I believe it's uh, their last points race. Uh, so looking forward to that and uh, seeing who... Uh, takes home the championship. With that, uh, any other closing thoughts, Joe? Uh, stay tuned and uh, be prepared for next week. <laughs>
That's right. Keep an eye on the website at www.antiochspeedway.com. The Facebook page, Antioch Speedway by Promotions. Also, AntiochSpeedway.tv on Facebook. And Antioch Speedway Announcer on Facebook and YouTube. If you haven't liked and followed all of them, make sure you go and do it for all the latest, greatest fun and news and exciting. And if you haven't downloaded it, get my race pass. With that, I'm Wiley Wade. He's Joe Peterson. We had another great night of racing here at Antioch Speedway. And thank you for tuning in. Until next week, I'm Wiley Wade. Good night, everybody.